Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Once Upon a Witchlight. We would absolutely love it if you could like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check the bell so you never miss an episode. And while you do that, I'm going to read some comments from the last Once Upon a Witchlight video. Ahem. Quote, I love how in episode three, Mace was told not to forget about his four invisibility cupcakes he got for winning the cake contest. Then he proceeded to forget about them. <laughs> Number two, I knew it. Bavlorna is just a manic pixie dream girl 20 years past her prime. <laughs> oh, oh my what God. The heck? Oh my God. Number Mikey, three. can you please stop doing that? <laughs> Number three, I need an official Torbeck plushie, preferably brushed and bathed, but I'm not picky. Number four, my favorite part of this series was last week when I started watching this campaign and I said, oh, almost 40 episodes. They must be pretty far into the campaign by now. But in reality, they spent the last four episodes trying to get into a bucket that brings them up to the Swamp Hag's house. <laughs> uh, keep up the good work, guys. So leave a comment and maybe you'll be included next time. Uh, and of course, uh, be sure to check out our Patreon and merch shop. We really appreciate the support. Thank you and good evening. So with that, I think that's it for the night. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night everybody. everybody. <laughs> Roll that beautiful bean footage. Once upon a witch light hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite. The third, a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own. But soon from porcelain lips a groan, her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken. Something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither. From yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear, and so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings, a song of child, owl, and bear, a song that calls the spirits there. A song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal, a rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky, when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass. Marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion. Each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. When season stopped, the final day, at last the prince found halves of clay. He shed a tear. This would not do. His favorite toy was split in two. It stank and had a horrid face, but in his heart held special place. Through toil this crack he would erase. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest, with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witchlight hour. You had been standing outside of Bevlorna's cottage, the wind whipping around you as the last remaining bits of the stairwell are blown away. The, uh, the hornets have befriended you with a clever, um, clever arcane trick by Kremi, um, but you know that this won't last. And so you quickly make haste into the, the room 
that this door is an entrance to, slamming it behind you very quickly. You don't have much time to get yourselves together as very quickly upon entering a hatchet is launched from one side to the room, one side of the room to the next and embeds itself in the wooden door frame um, to the side of you. Uh, your attention is immediately drawn to from whence that hatchet came and you find yourself staring at a small uh, feminine creature, almost dwarf-like in nature, mm. a red cap upon her head, um, a pair of, of blood-soaked boots at her feet, <clears throat> and you notice that they are. You notice that one of them is holding a vulture, is um, pinning a vulture by the neck to the ground uh, as she calls out to you to, to help with these entities. She doesn't seem in any way um, shocked to see you. Um, she doesn't, um, but she also doesn't seem like she was expecting you. Uh, just that your presence is nothing more than the possibility of help. Uh, as she as she, uh, as she takes the cleaver that she holds in her other hand, clearly a dual wielder of sorts, and fades to black on this poor vulture. Oh, <laughs> Oh, guys. Yeah. Uh, what what to do there, Miss Lady? Oh, we're the pest inspectors. We're just exterminators. I don't really care what you, what you think you are. I need you to get that vulture. I need you to, to pin it to the ground or something so I can kill it. Because if Bavlorna doesn't eat soon, then we're all going to be fucked. Oh, right away, fella. Oh, that's why, here, that's why we're here. Oh, an extra hell. Yeah. All the extra, get all my extra hands. <clears throat> oh, come, come here, vulture, vulture. Oh. The vulture squeals and makes vulture noises. <laughs> uh, let me see what I can do. I will endeavor to crush its mind. <laughs> I need to make. I need the vulture to make an intelligent saving throw. Derek's oh, yeah. okay. just going for the most violent option. Oh, yeah. Exploding it from the inside. Yeah. I just it's got a nimbus, so I choose violence. It does, it does a twelve succeed. It does not. Okay. Uh, so it's going to take. <laughs> is that what the ability is called? Explode their mind. <laughs> it's going to take four psychic damage. Mind <laughs> And it has to subtract one d four from the next saving throw it makes. <laughs> Vulturally. I think it's going to have to make more than that. Um, you. You look around the room and you see that Kremi's putting on his um, his chef's apron. He's ready. For, he, he has done things like this before. He's a chef. And so he knows what this entails. You think quickly, but maybe not enough, as you scan the room really quickly and you find the vulture and you very quickly imagine its tiny vulture-sized brain in your mind. And <laughs> like a... Um, Only dreams now. <laughs> <laughs> You 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 squash its brain. That's just so sad. Uh, oh. uh, the the vulture runs around for a couple of seconds afterwards before just all of a sudden um, spinning in circles and slamming to the ground dead. I think I got oh. it. <laughs> oh Fuck, man, he's still good to eat. It just don't eat his brain. He looks like a one-headed necky. Oh, gosh, she I'm so very, sorry. She very quickly um, marches over to it, uh, grabs it by the neck, and uh, heads back towards this um, this large blood-stained butcher block in the very center of the room. As she hauls the vulture up onto the top, she begins pulling out feathers. Um, and you can see that she was clearly cooking something else previously. Um, Upon scanning the room now that the uh, the mayhem has finished ensuing, you can see that these vultures seem to be an addition to what she was cooking. Um, as she begins to prepare them, she grumbles to herself and doesn't really pay too much attention to the rest of you now that you've assisted her. Does the food smell good? Um, yeah, actually it does. It feels very seasoned. Uh, there's a bubbling pot on the stove, a uh, big, uh, like cast iron stove uh, that is aflame, and there is a uh, a large pot on top of it that is just bubbling and popping. And the the smells that are coming from this, you can smell potatoes and leeks, um, a bunch of different meats. It's very clearly something that's been stewing for a while. Um, a uh, a forever broth. 
as violent as that was, Tormek is pretty hungry. Oh, we haven't eaten in, well, like days? Um, I think it was last night. <laughs> Maybe this morning. Oh, I think I paid well for the night. It feels like days, oh, man. Very oh, Tormex with Gideon. It yeah. feels like days. Oh, I've died at least three times since then. <laughs> I admit I'm a little hungry myself, actually. Is this your way of asking if you can have some food? Is it ready to be eaten? And may we have some for assisting you? If you want to help me pick all of the, the feathers out of these vultures, then I'll consider giving you a bowl. Oh. We have to pickle the feathers. It's so sad. We have to pickle the feathers or, like, pick the feathers I said off. pick all. Pick, oh. pick, pick all the feathers off. Oh. Oh. So don't leave it behind. Right. Yeah. If you're looking for something pickled, you can go to the storage room and find it yourself. Tor- oh. I'm not your mother. Torbeck will help with the feathers. And Torbeck will go over and, like, wherever the vulture is. <laughs> <laughs> To like pick them off, but then like eat the feathers. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than loading up the trash bin. Torment's <laughs> gone! Torment, those are gonna pierce your intestines. Uh, your stomach is gonna look like. Okay, well. Hoots <laughs> is gonna walk over and she's gonna very try to like stealthily like grab and sneak up by. No, Hootsie! No, 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 no! That's not, it's not fool you! That's not for you. I guess vultures kind of un- not unlike a rat snack. <laughs> I'll just work on picking the, the feathers off. Um, she looks to each of you and waits for some sign that you intend to help, and she um, pushes some potatoes towards you to begin peeling. Um, she pushes towards you a, um, a basket full of vegetables that need to be cleaned and chopped. Oh, peeling! Um, towards you, she, or no, towards Gideon, she hands you a mallet and these big... Um, these uh, big cuts of some sort of meat. You're looking at it, you can't quite tell what kind of beast this came from, but she motions for you to begin tenderizing the meat, and each of you have some sort of, um, and then you, Greco, she gives a spoon to stir the broth. Um, I'm more than happy to peel these potatoes, but this is sort of like sous chef work if you want to. Oh, I've peeled a lot of potatoes at Uncle Globo's shop. Are you insinuating that you're the cook here? Well, no, I'm just saying that, that my skill set is, is relatively advanced compared to the rest of us. If you need some more advanced assistance. <laughs> and yet, he has tenderized at least 50% of the meat, and you have not been able to peel a single potato. I'm pretty good at beating the meat, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll just peel the potato. Turbot gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> Feathers are, like, all over his mouth, like in his teeth. You want these quarter cube minced? Just peel them. The vegetables have all been cut into perfect cubes. Oh. That's great. There's another basket against the wall and 14 more in the cabinet over there. Oh. Oh, this <laughs> takes a lot more time than... In... Okay, well, that's fine. I'm assuming you're friends of Bevlorna. It's the reason I haven't killed you yet. That's uh, exactly right. Uh, yeah, we're the exterminators. No, hey, hey, what's the big idea? Yeah. We're exterminators, you know what I mean? <laughs> We kill. We took. We unplug. We're plumbers. We unclog the the drain. What are you even talking about? Uh, downstairs, we unclog the drain. <laughs> we took care of it, no problem. You know what I mean, like they do in the big cities. Oh, <laughs> right. We probably should have washed our hands first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you make a strong point. Uh, do you have any more feathers? Uh, Torbeck means vultures. <laughs> well, you've only plucked the one vulture. You can get the other one that's on the ground. Oh, Torbeck would be happy to. Torbeck continues. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what well, I'm staring here. Get out of my way, Torbeck. We're friendly acquaintances of Babylon. <laughs> that's right. I think she was a fan of our play. You notice that, um, I will say, roll a uh, roll an insight check. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you do need dice for this game. Oh, I need to pull my character sheet. <laughs> Eight. Yeah, uh, you, uh, she has a perpetual scowl on her face. Um, she notices what you say, and then she looks down at the one potato you're still <laughs> peeling in the entire, um, the entire <laughs> bowl filled smaller, with additional smaller. potatoes, and um, she looks uh, slightly irritated, but continues with what she's doing. Do you want these cubes to be smaller? 
It's, it occurs to me that the smaller you were to cube the vegetables that go into the stew, the more uh, uh, flavor they would uh, deliver into the into the. It only makes logical sense. I don't really care about the flavor all that much. It's more about the texture. Just get it done. It's not difficult. Anyone can cook. Uh, Did your mama ever teach you how to do anything? No. You, what is your name? Bloody toes. <laughs> Literally, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse than Torbeck's name. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what, did it, what did it call you? Uh, bloody toes. Is that your? She's standing on a tool at the, at, the, at the butcher block, and she quickly lifts her leg and slams her boot down onto the table. And you can see that this uh, this metal boot is just dripping with blood. Oh. oh, is that infected? It's a boot. <laughs> Why is it full of blood? I mean, I understand that's probably where you get your name from, but is it always sort of like a that? chicken and egg question? You literally just watched me use a, a butcher's knife to sever the head off of a vulture. Where did you think the blood was going to go? Oh, Torbeck thought the blood was coming from you. Yes, 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 that's yes. horrific. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. You, you, you collected the vulture's blood in your boot? It's spattered all over my boot. Uh, <laughs> wait, is that how you're supposed to tenderize the meat? I've been hitting it with this mallet. Am I supposed well, to be that's how I on tenderize it? the meat. Oh. You're not wearing any shoes. <laughs> You didn't make me choose, man. There was I thought a time. You made me a whole we only had ten minutes. I, I, I mean, everything is for you. What the hell, Frosty? You <laughs> no, made me this fancy you, ass. You've known you this for make forty-five me minutes. Um, <laughs> Rich, did you Damn forget it. to take off the Patreon discount thing? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'll fix that. April Fools. <laughs> well, in July, in July Fools. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I, so you're you're called Bloody Tooth. To, to, you're calling the bloody toes because you get blood on your toes so often. That's that's the that's the. You don't have any other name that's less. Well, it could be that, or it could be that I put blood on my shoes because my name is Bloody Toes. Really, well, that's what I'm asking. I'm, sort of I'm having a really uh, hard time chicken. keeping this. Accent. Oh, it's a tough one. No, we're gonna have to do like, say lots of words. Ah, uh, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I Why thought I thought you that? needed some tough acting to act him. So I, it could it's a vulture's blood. We don't care about him. We're here to kill vultures and worms and wasps. And anybody else you need, you need a drain on clock, We got you. You need a pesticide. We got it. I'm walking here. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> what? My friend means to say is that we're at your assistance. Whatever you need, let us know, or we can, you know, we can take the dinner right on up to Babylon, or if that's the the, the next step of this. Mm. She's got a guest currently. <gasps> oh, mm. oh, 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 that's that... saucy mix. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a suitor of any kind. Oh, oh, just a casual sort of one-off. Kind of oh, one. casuals fun too. It's I that mean, elf it's that keeps that... visiting from that balloon down by the palace. Can't do this accent. I don't know why. <laughs> I had it. You're fine. Like you're doing great. Well, I, yeah. Yeah, you're I'm doing so it perfectly. You know what? Don't gaslight me. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> First off, I'd be patronizing you, and I'm not doing that either. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Thanks. Uh, well, I think that's a dish. Is the saucy minks? That's next. <laughs> Oh, uh, you, the ones from the balloon, eh? She nods towards you. Oh. This, that is quite literally the word she just said. Uh, <laughs> hey, he's an elf. Fella. Are they like allies that perhaps maybe she trusts? I start sweating. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like she does trust them. <clears throat> oh, well. Hmm. Unless a betrayal was revealed, perhaps. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. She looks. She seems very confused at what you're saying. <laughs> Torbeck's confused too. <laughs> don't don't listen to him. It's just plumber talk. <laughs> so, uh, you have any you know, What's the what's the what's the tea? What's the drama on this guy? Any gossip? I thought you were friends of Bethlorna Blightstraw. Why are you looking for gossip? 
Well, I just meant on the guest. It's not, not a bad loan on itself, but, you know, I, you know, it's just sort of my own personal interest. I just sort of like the gossip, you know what I mean? It's kind of fun. Yeah, he's a big gossip. Yeah, you know. <laughs> well, in that case. It's kind of fun, right? What do you think? I do believe she trusts her, but only because they sit in there and they have tea for hours and hours on end. <gasps> and this woman, this elf, likes to say things about Bavlorna's sisters that Bavlorna would like to hear. <gasps> oh, like that will do. They don't smell very nice. Rather ugly. Well, I'm sure she would like to hear as well. It's also things that they fail. Their secrets and things Bavlorna can use against them. Oh. Mm. <laughs> well, they're gossiping. See, it, it is fun. It is fun. Torbeck's been involved in lots of for go- idle gossip. Uh, lots of uh, gossip and hopes to someday be on the other <laughs> side of it. <laughs> well, well, that's what we're doing right now, right? We're gossiping. Oh, oh, you're right. Right. Dude, dude, dude. Welcome, man. Welcome to the other side. Oh, this feels nice. Yeah, last I heard, she st- stole the Book of Grudges. That's the gossip I heard about that terrible balloon elf. Torbeck starts to sweat. <laughs> what is the Book of Grudges? A uh, book of bad things that happen. Big book of bad blood, I think is what it means. That's what we heard anyway. Last is we heard on the word on the streets is what they're saying. Well, no, but I mean, did you, wait, did you hear it? It was an elf? I heard that it was a couple of that were running a shop. That's what I think she's talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah, so hey, 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 hey get you ready in the game, uh, Grammy. Catch up. Your streets behind. Your streets behind. There you go. What streets behind? Whether they're darklings or elves means nothing to me. I'm simply here to cook the meals. Oh. All right. Well, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I was trying to dish. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know the, the tea. Do you often find yourselves talking behind the, the backs of all of your friends? <laughs> oh no, we're too. <laughs> yeah, yes, they do. Not all of our friends, just uh, most of them. Uh, speaking of dish, uh, well, no friend of snacks? Bavlorna is a friend of mine. Oh. So do your work and then get out of my kitchen. Oh, oh you don't you don't like it too much, do you? I'm imprisoned here to make her food. Well, I did say friendly. I'm not allowed to give in to my primal urges. <laughs> to spill the blood of my enemies. Oh, man. Uh, Would you classify her as an enemy? She looks towards you. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Twist it. Hey. 17. Nice. It's not bad money. It's not bad. It's good money. It's not money. It's not money. She's my captor. Mm. So in so doing, she is, I'm, this is so hard to try and keep his accent up. I have to remember what my... Potato. Potato. That's, <laughs> my word. that's the problem. I had my word and I forgot what it was. Corn beef and cabbage. Corn beef and cabbage. Oh, she's, she's my captor. Mitochondria. We have oil and beef. It was scared and that was the my word. The of the south. We have oil beef. We have oil beef. fucked. <laughs> She's oh, yeah, her. Will be fucked. Oh, well, will in be that fucked. case, have you ever thought about poisoning the soup? Mm. Well, 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 well. Great. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm still hungry. Don't poison anything. Don't poison anything. Why would you be trying to tell me to po- poison the soup of your friend? Oh, no, no. I mean, I was, we were just saying, like, have you thought about it? No, no. We're not, we're not going to knock or nothing. We, I've, we're not, we're I've not attempted tell- it. Yeah. Ooh, yes. But her stomach is yeah. so acidic, she can consume anything. <laughs> Those are called intrusive thoughts, and Dorbeck <laughs> tries to not let them win. Well, let me hear. Let me let me just pause at this too. So, are you a friend of Bevlorna? Or are you a friend of the Sator outside? Or are you a friend of no one? And First you're simply all, trespassing. Is this Sator in some kind of cage? He won't shut the fuck this up. This is why the Sator in the cage? So, you are friends with the Sator outside. We've seen that guy. I, I don't even know this guy exists. Oh, I told you. I wait. There's a satyr in a cage, and he's look very sad and lonesome. 
He's actually in quite high spirits for uh, a naked satyr dangling over a ravine. That was the whole thing. He's in a gilded cage. He thinks it's nice, but it's a. Isn't that the whole point of a gilded cage? Anyway, I, we, we don't know anything about the satyr. I know about a satyr. Besides, it might exist. I, I know he existed. Know about the satyr. Oh, Grico, there's no satyr at all. You clearly <laughs> wrong, Kremi. Thank you for confirming. <laughs> I didn't have to be a satyr. Well, just say we, know we are friends is. of the satyr. We are friends just of the satyr. Just for a second, all right? <laughs> From a theoretical point of view, let's say, you know, uh, just thought experiment. If we happen to hate Baffalona's guts, could we potentially be allies, and would there maybe theoretically, you know, uh, ironically, could there be some way that we could help free you and maybe, you know, team up, you know, <clears throat> sort of like you could join the gang and we could, you know, you could uh, smash your brains in with your, with your shoes. Get a little blood on your boots for a totally point of reason. Yes. Torbeck is learning. <laughs> <laughs> and and anyone else who uh, who is uh, a friend of yours, uh, perhaps a Mister Toes, if there is one. <laughs> you know, Frost. That's what you and always ask me about somebody's spouse. Because I find it funny. First the worm, and <laughs> now this. <laughs> Yeah. I'm working on my Riz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm peacocking. <laughs> now I need to employ the neg. <laughs> <laughs> These gentlemen are wearing very nice fedoras, and clearly they know how to interact with women. <laughs> I, I watched need a YouTube video, video Rico. I need to get myself a fedora. <laughs> Jesus. As, as I was saying, any 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 friend of yours, we could also help. Not just you. It doesn't have to be selfish. I don't have any friends. I hate everyone and everything, but I've Lorna the most of all. So an enemy of hers is an en- as a friend, as close as a friend could be of mine. All right. Well, I think we can make. I it can't deal. help in many ways. So I can give you a bit of information. Mm. Oh. Well, I just say we've been dishonest. Our masterful disguises as exterminator plumbers <laughs> was a ruse. We're here to kill Bavlorna. <laughs> That's right. You're going to need a whole lot of luck on your side to accomplish something like that. Uh, well, we don't have to necessarily kill her. We just need something from her. We don't think she'll part with it, so we might just seem to do a little... <laughs> Sneaky grab, but if we can help you out by killing them, you know, uh, we can be convinced. It won't take too much either. <laughs> I don't want to watch someone else kill that, Lorna. I'd like to kill her myself. Oh, but that's no. not something that's going to happen in my day, so I will. Two of her Lornlings. I'd like to kill them. Well. Oh. And like, you see a, a smile for the first oh, time we, on her face. Oh, yeah, those little guys, those little fuckers. This malevolent, malicious <laughs> smile. Oh, yeah, those little fuckers. Oh, those little fuckers, her you mean? razor sharp teeth in, in pure bloodthirsty joy as she thinks about um, completely annihilating some warnlings. Oh, I hate those guys. <laughs> Do you know that one of them stole Hootsie? My daughter here. Is it, if, dude, did, wait, did one of the ones that you want to die, did they go to the Witchlock Carnival and steal people? Well, they're all the same, and you just want to kill two of them for some reason. I just want to kill two of them. Oh, oh I just well, want well, to get some blood on my boot. cap and my boots. It's obvious. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it steps on one with the right, steps on one with the right again, but then kind of finishes it off. I hate those little fuckers. We'll help you. And then we can call you Brainy Toes. <laughs> you know, instead of, <laughs> why, instead, why? instead of Bloody Toes. Uh, because they, you know, the brains will explode out. Oh, it's a little macabre. It's very violent. <laughs> well, it's a little macabre. She's trying to lean into what she's looking for. Oh, in the room that exploded the brain of a creature. I didn't, it didn't explode. I just stopped it from functioning. Stop, guys! You're making Torbeck nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might be the feathers. Torbeck ain't alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, shit, man! Uh, this is my favorite floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she takes all the things that you have been uh, helping her with, and she begins to dump them into the oh, pot, here's the brew. and then puts more things in front of you: more potatoes, more vegetables, more meat. Oh, what do you want to do with all this meat? Is this going in the pot? No, I'll eventually take it to the meat locker. Oh, all right, cooking it. Eventually, but not today. <laughs> So this is just food prep? I'm cooking it? I'm cooking it behind you. 
Just not all of it. Like this is the first time I've had any assistance in the kitchen for a while. I'm not going to miss out on all of that. Right. You're helping me for tomorrow and the day after and the day after that. I've got these uh, vegetables up as, as tiny as I can into very small particulates. I, I don't need them to be that small. <laughs> well, I've already done it. <laughs> I need you. Oh. I thought that you'd get the most flavor. The smaller the the the, 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 the chopping would be, the, the, the more flavor. It's more about the texture when it goes into the stew. What's someone going to do with these tiny, little tiny cubes of, of oh, leeks? Yeah, I've been over this a million fucking times with ham. Something about surface area. Yeah, it's like things. coffee. It's we, do, you, do you just put a pour hot water over a full bean, or do you grind it up? That's yes. what I've done here. The best possible flavor. Uh, surely you can put it back together, Frost. <laughs> I start mending. See, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you can do it. I reassemble a, a full celery <laughs> stock. A carrot comes back together. Mm, I'll try well, if you could pro- promise me that you can bring me a couple of lornlings, I will give you a bit of information. Oh, we're very good at making promises. Is oh. there some way to free you? <laughs> Are we, can we just help you out and just let you go nuts? Yeah, is there a spell, a curse we can break? When Bev Lauren is gone, I'll be able to leave. But not oh. a moment before. Oh, like when she's. Dead? Yeah, well, well, or gone yeah. from hither, as long as I can escape the confines of this house. Ooh. Oh. Mm. So it's her power. I mean, this is too too much information, but it's her power just like specifically located in this realm. And if she leaves, her, all her power is gone. Everything she's done. I'm not the leading intellectual one, but Lorna Blight Lightstraw. Mm. I know a little bit of information from living in her house, but that's about it. Okay. I guess yeah, you good. That makes sense. So, what we'll do? is we'll give you two of these little fuckers to kill. I believe that there are two of them. You, you don't like them much, do you? I fucking hate those guys. Well, interesting enough, there are two mounted goblin heads in the dining room. And two of them like to hang out inside the mouths of the goblin heads. What the fuck? I hate these little fuckers. These are a bunch of little freaks. Because he's using a lot of bad language. These little freaks. Hoochie, do as I say, not as I do. Fuck these guys. So if you're looking for two to find, those are probably going to be the easiest as they're not lurking around with Lorne all the time. These guys fucking suck. This cocky little freak. He's cocky little freak. Cocky little freak. Okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Well, let's go cap to capture some Lordlings. Wait, yeah, yeah, let's go fucking bag them up. Get them so, under the boot. All we gotta do is open that door right there and lure two little fellas in, and you'll just do the rest. Well, that's a book. That really depends on whether you want to be here for the show. Well. Yeah, we do. Nah, yeah, we yeah, do. I don't, yeah, see how it's done. I don't really know. We you, gotta you learn. You see, she turns towards you, Gricko, and she smiles at you. I don't normally like anything or anyone, but I'm growing quite the affection for you. Well, maybe keep doing what you do. I fucking hate them. We're going to keep these little freaks are hanging up and cut off governors. And they have got their stupid little she eyes. Scoots, like, she scoots <laughs> over towards you, and she slides you a, one of her uh, butcher's knives. Ooh. If you decide you find a third, and you're feeling a bit bloodthirsty, now you'll have something on you to take care of it. Oh, Compliments of blood. Happening! <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh. Torbeck is horrified. Well, thank you, Miss. And you guys Ito. are about the same height. Oh, yeah. thank you, Miss Ito. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a radical idea about how to capture. No one's ever given me a nickname before. Oh, I don't like it. Well. <laughs> I, I kind of do. It fits you. Oh, thank you. She bought you for all that. Frosty, Frosty. Please go on. Please oh, oh continue. Well, if, if, love God. Once I have a, 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 an idea of where they are. Can you please cut those a little bit larger? They're still way too small. <laughs> it's just two pieces of carrot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just put the whole carrot in. Fix it. <laughs> well, at least cut the green part off. <laughs> oh, that's too much carrot. Oh. A lot of waste. <laughs> I'm not a chef. Is this enough? That'll do. What do you do with this part? Eat it. The, the greens? <laughs> <laughs> a really long fucking yeah. arm. Yeah. Yeah. Over your shoulder. All right. Um, uh, back into the pot. Uh, if we, uh, is there an empty pot of this size that the Lornlings could both fit inside? 
You want to boil the lawn ones? No, I just is a, a, a <laughs> way to <laughs> capture them. Yeah, you're one sick fuck. Yeah, that's way too, that's way, that's way too humane. Yeah. That's way too humane because you know what they say about frogs and they don't notice and they just like, oh, they boil alive. If they don't feel it, what's the point? Once I, fucks. once I sense the fucks, I will be able to potentially teleport them both inside of the pod. It'll oh. take a lot of my energy, but it will be instantaneous. Well, I don't want them boiled. The blood won't spray the way I like if they're boiled. That's why we, we empty the pot. We don't heat it up. And then you, they'll just be inside the pot for your uh, killing Something. pleasure. It's their temporary prison yes. before their execution. Yes. I like this plan. Oh, I, wait, are they on the way to the Seder where we can say hello as well? The Seder's just right out that that door right there next to the one you came in. Oh, he needs to meet Krami. The Seder does? No, he yes, doesn't. yes he does. I, mean, I'll still meet I thought him, you were but... friends of the Seder, haven't you already met him? <laughs> well, uh, from a certain point of view. <laughs> uh, I met him in a dream. Well, if you'd like to talk to him, he's in one of the cages hanging out over... Over oh. the, the lake. I just want everyone uh, to there's know. There's no key for the cage, so if you want to get him out, you're going to have to do it with your bare hands, and I can promise you it's not going to be easy. That's why he's here. Yeah. <laughs> you might be strong, but I'm not sure you're strong enough for that cage. No, I'll give it a try. Worst case scenario. He's naked, by the way, that the... satyr is. <laughs> Gideon loves naked Satan, so... No! Um, Wait! Miss, oh. Missy Toes, I really appreciate your rusty... Brutal, bloody cleaver. I've got many more where that one came from. It's uh, actually the most rusted of the bunch, so uh, you can tell that we're becoming fast friends if I'm oh, going to part with it for I, you. I'm sure in red cap parlance that means quite a lot, so thank you very much. It's not often that I find someone with such a bloodthirsty glint in their eye. Well, thank you. We both want to murder the same little fuckers. I hate. I really it's like very, it. It just worked out like in that. chance. I'm usually not yeah. as bloodthirsty, but I will perhaps you bring out the best in me. She sidles up next to you. <laughs> I hope you'll tell me all about the capturing of them and oh, how, we will. how much they screamed and cried oh, and asked for. No, you'll be able to. You'll be able to hear it yourself. Yes, they should just pop right in there. Yeah. Well, aren't you very romantic? Yeah, you'll be able to to feel their guts or something. Well, we she looks towards you, Frost. Mm. You asked if I had a Mister Toes. I think I might have found one. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? It's a little, I mean, you're a little smaller than what I normally look for, but you know. Uh, I'm through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Which door? The Seder door or the Lormling's door? Is it all so, the so door? in the room, there are actually a couple of doors. You see one door, which is a metal door. It clearly goes to a meat locker, some kind of a freezer. Um, you see another door, which based on the um, based on the wooden door frame, it's a little more innate. You imagine it probably goes deeper into the house maybe to a hallway, something like that. Um, you also have two doors against the back wall, the one that you came in and slammed shut, and then one right next to it, which is a much smaller door, which clearly leads to a balcony that you didn't notice upon um, ascension up the side of the mm. house. Mm -hmm. um, mm. There is a window next to it, and you can roughly see what appears to be wooden beams jutting out um, from the side of the house and uh, iron chains, um, which I would say just from... Uh, simple deduction, you'd easily be able to tell that there are some kinds of winches that are holding cages Jesus. aloft via chains dangling over the uh. um, over the water. But there is a balcony there that has access to all the mechanical parts. Prepare the empty pot. Well, it's just right there on the ground, so it looks like it's already prepared. Okay, great. Do we need a, Gideon, do you need a lid, for it? A lid or something? Mm -hmm. Do you need a lid for it? I would recommend putting something uh, like a lid on it and then something heavy inside, on top of that so that they cannot escape immediately upon teleportation. Well, I hope you enjoy doing that for yourself. I'm going to get back to cooking. Oh, Gideon, you're oh. big and strong. Yeah. Oh, Can you put where? something heavy on there? Yeah. Well, where's the lid? Where is, it, you, is it in the, where you keep the pickles? In the pantry. In the pantry? It could be in the pantry, it could be in the cold storage box, it could be somewhere on the ground. You'd have to look for it. I'm oh, just telling you, if this was your dish and you'd know where the lid is. <laughs> you know I can hear it because I'm standing right here. Uh, what? May no! Only a hey. and a half told. I, no, so I don't say that. I'm <laughs> I said it. Um, <laughs> all right, well, but I guess I'm just see, looking for you. the lid. Yeah. We'll look for the lid. It's, it's yeah. fine. Sorry, sorry for him. He's he's like a, a bull in a china shop. You know what I mean? He's 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 used to the, he's a little bit of a hoity-toity fancy, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no, nah, not a real. This is a real like a goblin. I mean, no, you're not a goblin, but this is like this is like Uncle Globo's kitchen. I, I know how to operate in this kind of kitchen. <clears throat> we call it rustic. Oh, yeah, I'm from. <laughs> It's uh, we'll, we'll find we'll find a yeah, a lid. Everyone look for a lid. Yeah, we look for a lid. Oh, you're gonna look for a lid. I'll I'll look for look for a lid. Sink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roland, I check the pickle pantry. <laughs> you check the pickle pantry, and you see that there are many things that are pickled. Pickled pig's feet. Mm. Um, you see. Uh, you see uh, pickled toads, small pickled birds, pickled onions, mm. uh, pickled mushrooms, uh, pickled fingers, <gasps> humanoid and otherwise. Oh. Um, it's just wooden racks just filled to the brim with uh, with pickled items. Mr. Krabby, can you pickle anything? Uh, I mean, from a certain point of view, I guess, yeah. I just throw it in vinegar and that's all it takes. Maybe a little seasoning. Uh, but I guess it depends how you define the word pickle. Tobek, you should take yourself a little snack. <laughs> uh, 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 what are you feeling? What's your, what is your heart desire? I mean, Bavlona's not going to need him where she's going. You know what I mean? <laughs> right into the pot. Right into the pot. Maybe we'll put the pot too. <laughs> Yeah, we are. Uh, you can't stop. You've lost control of the situation. Let's just do it. Well, so some pickles? Or- yeah, oh, we already found a lid. Uh, yeah. I failed miserably. Anything else find a lid? Oh, I'll look. <clears throat> That was so you're just be... looking in the main area. I'll oh, help you. I'm in the pickle. That's a 15, and with advantage. I'm looking in the meat locker. Oh, there we go. I'm looking in the various cupboards. Uh, 24. Uh, yes, you uh, you look around and um, you all go to your various areas. Oh, it's right here uh, on top of the pot. is looking through the cupboards, <laughs> and you find that most of these cupboard, cupboards are uh, close to the ground, and they're very dark, and this is where all the root vegetables are stored. Oh. Um, there is a thick layer of mud or of uh, dirt on the ground, and they're kind of nestled in there. You're looking around, and you don't see any lids. Uh, you, uh, Gideon, are with Torbeck over at the pantry, looking through all variety of pickled things. And because I saw it in chat, there is also a jar of pickled feathers. Oh, um. <laughs> uh, Torbeck is looking for the pot lid in the jar of pickled feathers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it Dormick is, is looking Gideon! It's, it's, nice and tart. Don't look just up the there, Gideon! Like don't it's look! incredibly pungent. Just the uh, way you like it. Uh, uh, <laughs> and there's, there's, there's a thick layer of like the bits of feather that have fallen off on the very bottom. <laughs> <laughs> the inside getting horribly scraped by the claw. <laughs> um, as you, Frost, begin to look around, you notice that everyone is looking down and indoors, and you look up, and you see that there are hooks all along the ceiling here. There are a variety of pots and pans, uh, bits hooks. of cured meat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, some, um, some meat that is clearly being thawed that had just recently been in the, the, um, the cold storage unit, and you do find an entire section that is nothing but uh, pan lids. Um, looking around, you can see that there are significantly more lids than pans, um, and all mm. in all varying sizes. I wonder how that happens. As Gricko <laughs> tells a story, you <laughs> make your way into the cold storage. Uh, you open the door and you're immediately hit with a blast of frigid air. <sighs> you step into the locker and immediately the door closes behind you. Oh, jeez. Oh. It's openable. You can easily get out. You are not trapped. Oh, this is how I die. But it is, <laughs> a new story. But but it is I'm locked. I'm locked freezing in here. Colder than you would have ever expected a cold storage unit to be. How did she um, do this? All around you are shelves covered in ice. Um, stalactites dangle from the ceiling. Um, and what? Well, it's the sea for ceiling. I don't know what it is. Icicles? No, they're stalactites. Jeez. Ice stalactites? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want them to be stalactites. Well, you were just and proud that you've picked the right one. I, think. I, I was really proud I picked the right one. That was 
sorry, I've never I've never gotten it right. <laughs> oh, it's still stalagmites of, of, of ice. <laughs> no, right, no, no, no. That's what Gringo says. <laughs> no, they are, they are icicles, yes. Uh, but I did get it right, so that's all that matters. Um, icicles dangle from the ceiling, and all along the shelves you see uh, frozen meats and frozen treats, and in the very center <laughs> is a wooden, <laughs> is a small wooden box. And just looking in this unit, you can see that the cold is emanating from this box as you hear. But you see no lid. Is that what I think it is? I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Oh gosh. I'm gonna That's try when you also hear. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I read the twist. Pull a twist, pull a twist. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep flying. Uh, thank you, chat. Let me know if you want some heart sounds. But heart you heart weren't, sounds. You, mine were not adequate. Mine weren't good enough for you, Derek? 22. No, they <laughs> oh, what an asshole! Damn, what the fuck? You're very good. You're very good. I, I, Jesus! Exactly uh, I thought there was a hard sorry. Uh, uh, they're great. They're great. I promise. Uh, oh you all God. watch as Frost goes to dig one of the lids down, and they all fall. And one of them was really sharp, and it cuts his head off. <laughs> <laughs> this is, is this turn to final this destination. Final destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fucking rest of my body. <laughs> <laughs> in my bugging neck. <laughs> my fucking uh, I got a 22 on my con saving throw. Okay, lovely. Uh, you withstand the cold. You steel yourself against it. As you walk uh, a little bit further into this room, your feet stick to the the frost on the ground. Um, not morning frost, but um, cold storage unit frost. Uh, as <laughs> my bugging meat hooks. <laughs> uh, as you move deeper into this room, still no sign of lids anywhere. As you hear the sound of Derek, I pointed at you. Thump thump. Fuck Derek. Don't be looking at all. This is fucking suck. Go back to climb this screen, idiot. Because you're so dumb. Make the sound. Up for the lids, and then her head gets cut off. You don't get to say that. You're not the DM. You don't get to say that. Uh, no, it doesn't. Just wait till Friday. It just wait till Friday. Wait till Friday. I say Queen's in trouble this Friday. Friday. Oh yeah. my god. I wonder. Where are these pants going? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she has any popsicles of sea cucumber Robert rectangle trousers. <laughs> Those are always so delicious. What the fuck? <sighs> <laughs> Hoochie would love that. Yeah. That's Hoochie's favorite. Uh, uh, even the reruns. Uh, uh. GQ Cooper, <laughs> Robert Rectangle Trousers, are you? Is that you? Saving throw at disadvantage. <laughs> uh, so man, we are all going to die. Eight. Oh. <laughs> you stand in the middle of this room and you hear the thump, 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 thump coming, emanating from this small, uh, this small wooden box. But your attention is not on the small wooden box. As you scan the shelves, looking for the very distinct coloring of the package for the Robert rectangle trousers, uh, popsicle snacks that are Hootsie's favorite, the sea cucumber, sea cucumber Robert, cucumber. Cucumber. The sea cucumber. The sea cucumber, mm-hmm. Robert. Yes. Rectangle. And you look trousers. and you look and you look, and you're so focused on trying to find this popsicle for Hootsie <coughs> that you don't realize how long you've spent in here. And with the door closed, the temperature is dropping uh, consistently. <laughs> and you are going to take. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> you're going to take six points of cold damage. <coughs> Oh, that's not good. <laughs> As you open your mouth, you can feel um, you, can, you can feel frost filling your mouth. <laughs> you could have not said that. You could have chosen. Oh, it's too bad. Too bad. Too bad. <laughs> I really shouldn't have just read to build a fire. <laughs> oh. 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 
I open the box. <clears throat> oh, you're you're gonna pay attention to the box now. I'm trying. That's what I was try. I was ex- mm. hoping to see the sea cucumber robber <laughs> rectangle trousers popsicles <laughs> inside, uh, the box. inside the box. Oh, inside, inside the, inside the box. box. I was hoping. I see. Um, yeah, you make your way towards the box. You open the lid, uh, or you attempt to open the lid, and oh. it is uh, it is locked. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm gonna try. Does the lock look like something I could like, like force open? It imagine you imagine it's something you could force open, or you could attempt to pick. Oh, Grimmy's usually the one who does ne'er do well top activities. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. Oh gosh, I can't go for this. Should I can't pick up the box. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll just bring this to Gideon. He's good at smashing things. Uh, it is quite heavy. Uh, and it does take both of your arms <laughs> to lift it and to carry it. You imagine that, yeah, you can carry it to the door, but it's going to be difficult to open the door with this box in your arms. Okay, well, I'll just, let's go. <laughs> I didn't find a lid! Because <laughs> I'm going to wa- take the box and I'm going to walk back to the door. I'm sure someone will hear me. <laughs> I'd like you all to roll a perception check at disadvantage because of the loud thwack. Uh, I got a 10. He must have gone the, the next cleaver. room, right, fellas? We should probably try to catch up. Oh, I got a 10. 10. 9. 19. Uh, dread. Um, this is how oh, I die. A tiny d20. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, now it's a nine. <laughs> that cost me. That cost me. Cost me ten here in points. Uh, you, all you can hear is um, the sound of the thwack, thwack, thwack of the meat cleaver as it slams down onto the butcher's block as she be- as she continues to chop um, meats and veggies for the meal that she's preparing. Um, as Frost, you find the lid. You alert everyone to uh, the lid has been found. The um, the uh, pot has been procured. Uh, you even found a large wooden brick um, that fits perfectly on the top of it to help keep the top closed, uh, as well as a bit of rope if you wanted to tie the lid onto it instead. So you have a couple of options for how to keep the lornlings inside of this pot. Um, just at, um, at first glance, the pot does seem like it's lar- large enough to fit two, maybe even three lornlings <gasps> inside of it. Well, that's everything. <laughs> Great work, man. I don't know how you felt and found the lid and all that stuff up there. Yeah, well, just to use my mind and my eyes to investigate. Oh, eyes. Damn it. There's a lot of lids up there, actually. She told the whole story. It, it took you a while to find the proper size. Surely yeah. they'll notice I'm missing. <laughs> Why do you think there's so many lids up there when there's just the one pot? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, bloody Toes? Yes. Perhaps you could spend a few minutes. <laughs> Describing to us what what happened? Where all we got all these lids, but only so few pants. I'm, I'm very curious. I want to hear all of the details. Well, let me tell you. And so she goes on about a, a five-minute tirade about um, how often the lornlings come in and they'll steal the pots oh, and they'll just toss them over the sense. edge wow. uh, down into the water, and she can't go down to get them. And now Lorna refuses to get new pots, so the few that she has remaining, she has to hide now mm-hmm. and she keeps the lids up there but the lornlings never take and she continues on and on and it turns into uh towards the end she's just cursing and uh yelling about how, <laughs> how much ironic. she hates that, that, Lorna that, and the lornlings. that will be trapping the lornlings inside that which she th- they threw away so often she laughs and laughs and even though she doesn't necessarily like you um you have at least gained her <laughs> 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 yeah, jesus <laughs> Even though she fucking hates your guts. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I just have to make it clear. This red cap's like a fucking people. bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, what the, the fuck? Bitch. My tips I read online by the man in the fedora aren't working. How can this be possible? $129.99. This is bullshit. I want my money back. <laughs> oh, no <laughs> refunds. Oh. Uh, yeah, they promised I would date strippers. What the fuck? How did this happen? <laughs> I would like you to roll a constitution saving throw at disadvantage, please. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Seven. <laughs> yes. You, you are feeling incredibly cold. The the ice clearly emanates from this box and holding on to it might have been the wrong choice. <laughs> As you feel your fingers um, adhere to the box itself. Oh, just feet, open the door. Your feet, <laughs> your feet <laughs> adhere to the floor. Oh, As you become, you, you watch the ice slowly spread up all of your limbs and start making its way to your very core. You imagine you don't have that much long before you are an ice statue inside of this freezer. Bloody toes, how did you come to be here? <laughs> <laughs> Do I do damage? Do I do damage? What, what is your, what um, no, your no, no, no. memory? It, it was five more than what it was, so it's damage or. This Whoa. is your tragic backstory, if you wouldn't mind. What was your first memory as a child? <laughs> well, it, seems like you, it seems like your fellows really like a tragedy. And I like telling one so. And she begins to start telling you the story of how she was trapped here and that she um, she used to live in mountains with her family and they would kill all day long and it was incredible. And um, she just enjoyed death so much. And one day uh, she was caught out while she was hunting uh, for her family uh, by a bunch of warnlings and they dragged her back and imprisoned her. Um, and that she's been here ever since. Uh, and that uh, she's attempted to make some deals with Bavlorna, and though Bavlorna makes deals with everyone, she refuses to make a deal with her, and so she mm. has no means of escape whatsoever. Um, and she bides all of her time, just growing even more bitter until the one day that she can escape and enact her vengeance on basically anything in her path. Fellas, I, I really think Greco ran ahead, and if we have the lid and we have the pot, we should probably go catch up and deal with these guys before he kills them himself. Yes, let's not waste any more time, I agree. I didn't even realize he wasn't here. Yeah, no, I, I, mean, I haven't seen him in a while, and I just feel like he's probably sneaking up on those longlings, taking the medicine oh, in his own hands. Oh, we can't look. let him go alone. I know, oh, so can we go look? We're going to have two longlings oh. for you in 15 minutes flat. You feel uh, a tug on the back of your, your trousers. Twig has been clutching onto your leg from the moment oh. that she saw this um, this red cap. Oh. And she motions to you to lean down to her. I don't want to say anything too loud, Gideon, because red caps are my scariest ne- nemesis. Well, just say it all quiet like then. I'm leaning all the way over. That's what got... I'm trying to do. Oh, you... yeah, okay. That's Go what ahead. I'm talking. Shh, Gideon, oh, I'm trying sorry. to talk. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. It's your turn. I've been watching what's going on, kid. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure you heard me. Yeah, no, I'm still listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. You just go on ahead, all right? Yeah, just okay. go on ahead. So I looked out the window, and there's a naked satyr out there inside one of the cages. Go on. Okay, okay, just want to make sure. Wait, is me. this guy relevant to anything? Gideon, shh, I'm oh, trying to tell shit. you a story. Hurry up. I'm getting scoliosis. <laughs> yeah. And, uh. and, 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 I noticed Hootsie's been pacing in front of the meat locker. You think that Gricko's in there? Nah, she's probably just hungry. Okay, cool, bye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry about the smell, by the way. I don't know why, but Frosty didn't make me a damn shoe. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just farting. <laughs> well, I was doing that too, but I, you know, it's just a feet thing. And maybe this whole fancy ass got like a fur line collar. It couldn't take a second to make a damn pair of shoes. He did, but you didn't put them on. You left them down there. Oh, damn. You're saying this is my fault? Yep. Well, fuck. I should probably apologize to him. Nah. <laughs> 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 Oh, fuck that guy. (laughs) Uh, Let's continue. Um, (laughs) Uh, What are you doing? Open the door to the Lauren Wings. Oh, uh, all she told you was that it was the dining room. There was no entrance to the dining room from here. 
Rip, oh, rip, you're no. in the kitchen. So you imagine there is a door that leads deeper into the hut. So you, it's that's right door? next to the meat locker. <laughs> oh, um, so you imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, fast. Okay. We go to the door. Yeah. We get away from the meat locker. We don't even look back. <laughs> okay. Come on, Hootsie. Come on. We got to go find uh, you know, Papa Gricko. Hootsie does not budge. She is curled up next to the meat locker. And she looks a little bit sad. Hootsie, are you kidding me right now? Gringo's chasing down Lornlands. You're over here looking for rat snakes. She hoots um, sullenly at you and then paws at the door of the meat locker. Well, get, I mean, we'll, we can get you. We, listen, you want some of this vulture? What are you doing? She's probably hungry. Let's just sneak into the meat locker, get her a little bit of meat, and then we can be on our way. Oh, but Frost, there's plenty of pickled stuff over there. <laughs> Pickles over there, man. I was just bashing meat. It's all tenderized, ready to go. Really good. <laughs> Trust you, Would you like a little uh, pickled uh, something? Like a Are you talking a twig? Or? No, Hootsie. Oh. Uh, uh, Hootsie looks up at you. Her eyes ha- are slightly brimming with tears um, as she shakes her head and she like snaps at you a little bit. Not actually to like bite mm-hmm. you, but to show her her upset mm. and disinterest as she continues to paw at the door. Uh, the there's locker. pickled fingers! I'll just pop in real quickly, and then and then we'll we'll be on our way. Okay? Uh, into the Look at that face. She, she clearly doesn't want pickles. She's probably more of a meat person. Torbeck mentioned pickled fingers. Didn't I see pickled rats in there too? Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. Pick, pickled rats. She looks up for a second, kind of excited. <laughs> she hoots <laughs> <happily>, girl, <laughs> and she kind of inches towards you, oh, but then you see up. her turn her head back towards the meat locker, and she's, her, so, her no. shoulders sink, and she starts to paw at the door. Nothing in there is going to be good for you. It's all going to be frozen. This is like a meat popsicle. It's not going to be... She turns She turns her head back towards you and hoots, sadly. <laughs> she really wants a meat popsicle. We're wasting time. <laughs> All right, uh, out of the way, Hootsie. I'll get you a meat popsicle. Wait, hold on. (laughs) 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 Wasn't Rick always talking about the sea slug guys? Please don't. Oh, uh, sea cucumber robber rectangle (laughs) trousers? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're saying, wait, but yeah, Grinko was saying that she's got to eat like healthy meals, exactly, man. Right. Exactly. Uh, yeah, if we yeah. get her popsicle, Grinko's going to be upset. We're going to ruin her diet, man. We'll be the worst freaking uncles ever. That's Rico's right. not around right now. He's probably uh, uh, outside of earshot, some, some, some weird down the hall. You can hear everything that's happening. You are. <laughs> you look at Jack Nicholson in the final scene of The Shining, and you are. <laughs> the ice is almost completely covering you, but you can still hear the muffled voices of your friends talking your your owlbear daughter out of out of protecting you. Torbeck doesn't know, guys. Torbeck's would get in. It just wouldn't be right. Look, she gets ads on on Flypad, and then she asks Rico to buy them for her. Mm-hmm. And it's like they're, they're loaded with sugar. They're not good for owlbears, all right? I think they're made for, like, human children, you know? <coughs> Meat popsicles? Or uh, pickled no, rats? No, they're made of, like, isn't it like sea cucumber? Some, some, some kind of vegetable or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> sea cucumber. No, I... Lives in a... Like a pomegranate or something. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I, I mean, <coughs> well, I... If all three of you are in agreement, Hootsie, I'm sorry, but we're just going to have to move on. You're not allowed. Your father would be very upset with us. Plus, it's probably safer here for her than where we're going to find Rico. Well, no, we can't. I mean, <laughs> no offense. <laughs> <laughs> but she won't move. All right, come on, come Hootsie, on, come on. I'm going to try and scoop her up. And take she, um, she nips at you and... Ah! Yeah. Bites a My bit nipple. out of your nipple. Oh, your nipple. Damn it! Your nipple's see? completely gone. But, oh, no! <laughs> My favorite Roger zone. Oh God! Damn! Oh, oh my God! God. It's just popsicle suit. Jesus! Oh, what the hell? There's blood everywhere. <laughs> Bloody toes is really excited. She just walked no. in. She actually Are you gonna fix it. Is there a banana here? <laughs> God, I 
Springer was here right now, man. He passed his nipple up so <laughs> fast. Let's go. Let's go find him. We'll get the banana. We gotta take Hootsie with us, man. She's buying nipples. She's hungry. Just, just, I don't know. Can you, like, just... Tie, tie a leash on her. I don't know. Let's get her a damn popsicle, man. All right, we got. We just gotta chill her no, out. No, look, I, look. I think we're probably way ahead. He's getting into trouble. We're losing time. I, I'm just gonna check in with him to make sure that, that nothing, nothing's going wrong. Hey, Gringo. <laughs> Gringo, don't, don't do anything rash. You, you know the plan. All right. <laughs> You're hearing the voice of the bull because you're outside the door. I was like, you can't activate. You, you hear the heartbeat. You hear the heartbeat pumping <laughs> through the. I'm, I'm holding the, 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 the chest piece. But because Gricko can't hold his, yeah. I don't think he can respond. No. <laughs> but you so, can hear him, right? You, you can, can, can hear yeah. Krabby, yeah. but you are unable to respond. Does <laughs> he look like Jack Nicholson? Something may have happened to Gricko. Torbeck didn't hear anything either. Gricko? This better not be some kind of prank. I'm gonna be very upset. Look, we, we really need you to come back. Gucci just bit off Gideon's nipples. I'm <laughs> we need some more bananas. I, I, are you in danger, Grigo? Are you in danger? <laughs> I th- Hootsie, we can't st- st- stay here and wait for meat popsicles. We, we, you have to go. Grego may be in danger. This is dire! Uh, all right, look, you know what? Nobody say a thing to fucking Grego. Get her a popsicle, and then we'll go and we'll catch up just in all case right. he's in trouble, all right? Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Let's open this all right. door. Uh, It pulls out. Well, this is amazing. You you see two imprints of getting hands in the middle of the meal. Uh, uh, what? What? It's, it's unlocked. Look, I, I'll, I'll open it. You know, you, you I'll attempt flash, to, flash. but with the amount of force he's put on it, the mechanism inside is buckled. Oh no! And the door no it? longer opens smoothly. Uh, well, no, damn it! I hate this freezing meal locker. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to rip it open. <laughs> roll a uh, roll an athletic. Well, right we've reached an impasse. <laughs> oh, 26. Nice. You um you don't grab the um the handle. You actually look at the weak spot between your two handprints. You punch directly in, <laughs> grab the mechanism on the inside, <laughs> and rip the door off of its hinges. I'm mortal combat. Uh, the as door. you throw it, it <laughs> slams against the wall. Uh, a loud clatter as a bunch of pots and pans fall from the ceiling. Um, <laughs> Bloody Toes seems like she's enjoying this greatly. As you, as the as the uh, frost uh, billows out, tiny, uh, almost like snowflakes erupt around you. And as it slowly starts to fall and settle on the ground, you see standing in the middle of the door, his fingers frozen to this, <clears throat> this wooden box that is completely frost-free as it thump, 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 thump. Thump, thump. Uh-oh. Is Grico as a Grigo. frozen ice statue? Stupid goblin statue! Get out of the way! I'm looking for popsicles, man. <laughs> I don't want to have this stupid thing in here. Stupid pegs. Grico, are you okay? Oh, it's Grico. Grico. We made a mistake. Oh my gosh. Oh no, man! Quick. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warm them up. Warm them up. Warm them up. I'll oh, take the box. I'll take the box. Good. I'll wrench the box free. Oh. oh. <laughs> Still stuck in the box. Oh! oh he was in there for a while, fella. <laughs> yeah, my pocket box. <laughs> it's a Grico popsicle. Hootsie moves in and you she nuzzles know. up against your legs. You immediately start feeling your legs warm as her body heat starts to overtake you. Why my popsicle anywhere? <laughs> I'll just reach over and I'll put the finger into your front pocket. <laughs> Sorry about that, Grico. How long have you the whole time? The whole time since we started looking for the ri- the lid. The lids, yes? Kalima! <laughs> Kalima! And I pointed at the boss of the heart. The something. <laughs> <laughs> Who? The popsicles are in there? <laughs> no, popsicles. 
I'm, I need a map. I'm, I'm holding the box now. Am I experiencing the same freezing sensation? That... You are. It is incredibly, <laughs> incredibly cold. You feel like if you hold on to it for much longer, your your hands will start to adhere to the box as well. I will pull my hands away and the I will box. hold it with my oh, my go. mind hand. Yeah, it begins Ooh. to fall, but very quickly is caught by your mind hand. Oh, Which you, you begin to see where there had never been a hand before. The frost begins to accumulate around it, and you see floating in the air a frozen um, ice hand. Oh. Oh. I'd like to move Grico out of the freezer. You, you pick him up and move him out. Hootsie is uh, attached firmly to his legs now by, um, by permafrost. Oh, we messed up pretty bad, guys! Uh, I think you'll live. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing monkeying around in the freezer. <laughs> was he looking for lids in there? What the fuck would keep a lid in the freezer? <laughs> just ridiculous. Oh Monday. no, I was looking for <laughs> sea cucumber rubber rectangle trousers. Oh, oh, what did I say? Uh, was it a pomegranate that he made his home? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Nice. It was a pomegranate. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. Oh, that's my finger. Oh, Hootsie, I think we owe you an apology. You knew that Grico was in here this entire time, didn't you? Hootsie, you're, you're so observant. Oh, you're so good. I'm going to be fun. She trots into, she walks right past you, saying that your friend have you. She trots right past you, and it knocks a, um, knocks a jar to the side, and with her beak, she pulls out an entire box of uh, Robert uh, Rectangle oh, trousers. Oh, I knew they had it. Oh, uh, there you the go, Hootsie, your down. favorite, your favorite. I, I'm, I don't think I need to have a popsicle ever again in my whole life. Mm. <sighs> well, let's go get those little fuckers. <laughs> I'll, warm up, I'll warm up in their blood as the life down. essence pours all over me. Just stay next to Gid and keep doing, you know, yeah, yeah. Maybe have oh, a you. banana or two. Thank you, lads. Uh, maybe. You could use a few. Uh, oh, Torbeck yeah. also would take one of your offering. Uh, Who'd you rip my I'm, nipple clean off? I feel there. like we should take a little rest here, because I think we're fucked. I don't got much left in the tank, fellas. <laughs> Just hop up on my shoulders, man. The heat will rise. You'll start, you'll start uh, thawing. Uh, should I leave this strange cold box? Uh, Oh no, I think that has the the, the heart of that guy. Which which that, oh. that really annoying guy? The uh oh, that, that that uh depressing elf guy, right? Oh, cold heart. Yeah, cold hands, whatever. Cold hands. Cold, cold hearts, right? Cold hands. Yeah, we were close. Cold hands. Cold right? hands. Do they call him cold, cold hands, hands Luke? Luke? Cold hands. Yeah. Cold, cold hands Luke. Luke. Cold, yeah, hands, cold hands, hands, hands Luke. Cold hands Luke. Yeah. Oh, we did it. I knew we wouldn't forget his name. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. And cold hands Luke's heart is in there. Yeah, that guy seemed yeah. important and oh. likable. So. Well, it's so cold. How are we going to transport it? <laughs> Just like that. I mean. No, 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 no. Open the box. Oh. Well, just put it on the ground real As quick. far as I know, it's what keeps the, the meat locker cool. We Without it, you can see it's already starting to thaw, and my kitchen's turning to ice, so we'll I'd like you to do something it. with it. We can come back for it. Right? I mean, do you mind if your meat spoils if we take that thing with us? Uh, I have I have no preference whether Bavlorna is yeah, in fresh meat fish. or raw meat. No, like, yeah, meat. it's Bavlorna, and, and her learnings probably prefer, like, non spoiled meat. Fuck those little fuckers. Let's... Let's just take it. Can we at least like open it up? Open it up. Down? What's in the box, Frosty? What's in the box? Just put it on the ground. Uh, yeah, this is my lock pick. Bam! <laughs> I just slammed my my uh, boot All right. on top of it. I that. need a strength athletics check. <clears throat> Be careful not to destroy the heart. Inside. And you're using your boot? Yeah, in the fashion of. I thought you weren't wearing any shoes. Oh! <laughs> you may have been. No, you're the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one who's going to become. Yeah. Nineteen. You're the one who's going to become bloody. Uh, you are easily able to crush this box, um, and your foot immediately you know, feels right the. Um, <clears throat> it immediately feels the soft, frozen, wet flesh of a beating heart. Oh! You can feel the. That's yeah, gross. Thump, 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 against Ooh. the arch of your foot oh. as it pumps. That's unpleasant. Oh, oh guys, this is weird, but I just can't stop. And you look Wait, inside and you see that it's very clear that this is a human's heart. Or mm. a humanoid a human heart. heart. 
I think this is the one. It's Cold Hands Luke's heart. Cold Hands Luke. Well, how are we going to transport it if it will freeze any one of us who holds on to it? I thought the box was what was cold. You, I would say with the breaking of the box, you can feel the cold dissipating. Oh. Uh, it does look like this heart doesn't have that much time before it's going to be too warm to function as a heart, to function as a heart anymore. Um, but that, uh, yeah, it was the box that was keeping it cool. Well, can we put it back in the box? <laughs> the box not working anymore. Oh, it looks anymore. like it, it broke the box. Oh, frosty, 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 frosty. <laughs> You would have thought a cantrip oh, would have been so much. This guy is unstoppable. I think Mend has been casted in this session yeah. more than any campaign ever combined at all of it. Across all, done all the indeed. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, it takes you about ten minutes, uh, all of the intricate pieces, but uh, you are able to uh, to mend the box. It's like from Omaha Steaks. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Omaha? I think it's a district in Galtica. <laughs> right next to the China shop? <laughs> <laughs> they sell French dressing there. <laughs> Well, uh, I fixed the box. Let's hope that it maintained its magical properties of cooling. I put the heart back inside. Does the box remain frigid, or have I just... It does remain frigid. Oh, you are excellent. able to close it. You you feel that the cold emanates from this. If you keep it in this main room, this the, the kitchen will turn into the meat locker. So I'm going to assume that you put it back into the meat locker. There is no door without probably... Oh. Some more making. <laughs> 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 I'm frosty. I'm frosty. I'm frosty. Well, let me just put the mechanism back in place. Can you even fix this hole in the door? I don't know. It's going to take fucking 40 minutes. We need a rest. And while you are doing that, we will take a coffee break and you guys can in, in, enjoy a short rest. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you have all spent. Almost an hour um, in the kitchen, rest. spending time with Bloody Toes. She doesn't make much conversation, but she does respond to your questions and talks to you here and there while she continues okay. to make the meal. Um, you did help her, so she doles out uh, large wooden bowls uh, filled with stew for each of you. Yes. And it is actually mm. quite delicious. Oh. It is it is a beef stew. Um hearty potatoes, um, veggies, and herbs, and she is quite the cook. She's been doing this for who knows how long, and whether she likes it or not, she has found um, she has found a bit of a, a hobby in it, and is quite good. Is uh, that a in this? Are you asking her that, or are you asking me that? Well, I'm kind of both, but I'm oh, about to be a character. Uh, yeah, there's no vulture in it. Oh, all right. Okay. Um, Mechanical person. But you, um, you eat and you sit around the room and are able to make conversation while you enjoy an hour to just relax. Occasionally you hear uh, a bit of chattering outside and a, a chuckle, uh, which clearly comes from the naked satyr dangling over the water. Um, the rest of the house uh, seems almost unnaturally quiet. Occasionally, you can hear creaking floorboards ahead of you. And I would say over the course of the hour, you're able to determine that there is some movement upstairs. Uh, it doesn't happen often, and it's whatever it is, is clearly trying to keep itself masked. Ooh. But Ooh. Um, you are able to tell that there is something which almost seems to be sneaking about upstairs. Did you create any bananas for us as well? No. Oh, shit. Yeah. I was really looking forward to dipping them in the vinegar from like Oh, the, yeah, uh, no. I'm okay. almost entirely deaf. Okay. I, didn't know, I didn't know if that was a cantrip that cost you. No, know, yeah, it's a, okay. a spell slot. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, just kidding. It's good, I washed my stew down with uh, <laughs> sips from my pickle jar. <laughs> Pickled feathers. It's a feather in your teeth. Yeah, yeah, it's all over the place. The, the, the vinegar's running down Torbeck's chin. Nasty. You know well, what? I've succeeded in repairing the door and putting the meat box inside with my hand of my <laughs> mind. And you don't mind if we come back just on our way out and we snag that from you? I don't mind at all, as long as you're dropping off the exchange. <clears throat> I will have that for you. And, you know. well, how, long, how far can you teleport? Oh, I imagine we can actually just leave the pot here. Uh, as soon as you hear 
struggling from inside, then it'll mean I've succeeded. You don't have to see where, you, where you're doing it? You just need to... <laughs> you need to double check that for a Yeah, what's the range on that, too? That's uh, a... It's pretty pretty good range. I mean, depends on how big this house is, but... Uh... If we need to take it with us, we can. That wouldn't be a problem. Gideon can carry it. He doesn't do nothing no more. Just chain it to your back or something. Well, you put it on the lily pad. Oh. I'm not playing that character this time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. I do need to be able to see the space. That's where I fought. I was a little strong. This isn't the this isn't UA Mystic. So. <laughs> I'll strap the pot to my back with my yes. chains. All right. Chains around. Ouch! Hit me with the pot. Oh, sorry. Well, just, are you on my back? What are you doing? No, I'm on your leg. But you swung it around and smacked me in the head. Oh, are you okay? I mean, you just hit no. me like an iron 30 pound. No, pot, I think I'm going to die now. Oh, geez. Oh, God. oh, you're bleeding from the head. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Catch her up quick. Oh, oh, so I got this one spare banana mash it up. I'm allergic to bananas. Oh, God. The only thing we know that can heal people for sure, and you're allergic to it? Yep. I insight check her. Or no, can I tell if she's being truthful? Yeah, I insight check her. It was a nine. Thirteen. She is lying. No, she is, she's just she is, lying. She is well, neither. She is do. neither hurt nor allergic to bananas. It's banana. Well, you know, like I don't know, polsteus or uh, or death. <laughs> 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 Smashing her, her gaping bloody head was. Uh, I'm not even bleeding. It's raspberry jam, dum dum. What? Where'd you get raspberry jam from? From inside my acorn bag. Oh. I'm holding it in there. I've got tons of stuff. You've been holding out on us, sweetie. Uh, I've fed you multiple times from my acorn bag, dum dum. Oh, that's pretty true. I mean, I guess you aren't holding out on us at all. From ten <laughs> feet away, a Torbeck finger comes in and scoops some <laughs> jam off and then eats it. And bananas. Mm, yummy, huh? You heal three points of damage. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, let's go say hello to the naked Santa. Wait, we're doing that. Oh, I guess it's right here. It's right here. We should just do, we should just cross that off the list. But platinum this is probably like to say. Well, first, bloody toes. Do you have a recipe for this? This was really good. Well, let me. You know, what 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 gives it that special kick? Well, I've been boiling the broth for nigh on. 15 years now. Nine or 15 years? No, 900, oh. nigh on. Oh, man. Sometimes it's hard to keep Oh, up. ever stew. That's a very classic trick. So there's really no way to recreate that unless I want to... You just have to make sure that the, the flame never goes out and that you're constantly adding well, water. Well, you know what they say, Mr. Krammy. The best time to start a 15-year-old broth was 15 years ago. The second best time is today. You know what? Did they really say that? that yes! Was, oh. That was surprisingly we, uh, wise and poignant, Torbeck. Well done. Thank you. I really like that na- that word, poignant. Well, as a thanks for letting us all enjoy your stew. It's pronounced let me, poignant. Let me give you something. <laughs> he just ignored me, Gideon. What? I just told Krimi a real nice thing and he ignored me and continued to talk to the red cap. I think he prefers red cap to twigs. I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget to do what I'm doing, so that's why I'm just trying to make sure. Anyway, what were you saying, Twig? I was saying I liked your word choice of poignant. It's a good word. Oh, thank you. On a Scrabble board, it'd be worth a lot of points. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, but it doesn't have a Q in it, so that sucks. Yeah. Unless you like combo it with one of the You doubles. know it'd be really cool if Poignant had a Q and like an X or something. Like Poignant? Yeah, like Squignant. Or Poignant. Yeah. It's pronounced Poignant. Don't change how no, you pronounce it. No, that's Goodbye. Pregnant. Let us visit the Gilded Cage, Seder. And before I go, uh, Bloody Toast, let me offer you just something in return. And I grab my, my I guess I'm wearing my apron. Out of my apron, I'll pull a few diesel berries. Ooh. She she looks towards you. That looks like diesel berries. Exactly right. I, I you you probably know all about them, but man, you add this to anything, who it really kicks it up. You're much spam. more wicked than I thought you were. We she share reaches out and she takes in them. your blood loss. Wait, does that one have a tune? <laughs> we crave. <laughs> We crave the iron in your blood. <laughs> you, you watch as she takes them over, and she just she chuckles to herself and tosses them in the pot. Oh, 
the sweet release. <laughs> 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 I think poignant is about 11. And so the, uh, you are making your way, board. you it's are making your way triple. to huh? the balcony. I begrudgingly follow Grico out towards the Seder. Oh! You hop your way over towards the smaller door that leads to the balcony. You open the door and there are two steps up to a wooden balcony that is perched once again over uh, this uh, sheer drop off down to the water below. And you see that there are a total of four winches that are attached to wooden planks that jut out from the side of the house. Um, and dangling from chains are three ca- or four cages, one on each of the winches. Um, um, that are large enough to house two uh, medium-sized creatures. All of them are empty, all but one, in which you see a male satyr, completely naked. He is looking out over the water, dangling his dangling his hooves. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. Bad place to stutter there, Nikki. Oh, are those two socks with eggs in them? Oh, no! <laughs> You. So you're stepping out of the balcony. The chains come down over the side of the balcony, and the cages are hanging are hanging beneath the balcony. Oh, they're like so down you're there. looking down on top of them. You have a um, you have a, a I don't know what it's called the view of above. Bird's eye, bird's eye view. Thank you. Uh, you have a bird's yeah, eye fine. view of this naked satyr sitting in a cage. Hey! This As he is, dangles above the. This is just like water. the dog tank. Only when Torbeck was in there, there wasn't any dunking, and they just got hit with rotten fruit. <laughs> <laughs> we made a lot of money that way. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. When we kind of even changed the name of the attraction from the duck tank to uh, to to pelt fruit at the freak. <laughs> That was that before or after chump tank. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it That's was it was you you realized that oh you, it was first it was dunk tank, then chump tank, and then you realize that oh he, I'm out of there and these peasants are too stupid to get my genius pun. We'll change it to pelt fruit at the freak. We'll make a million election pieces. <laughs> People do anything for it, Dad. The wind <laughs> is whipping around you as you're having this conversation. It's very clear to you that um, whatever words you're saying are being caught up in the in the gusts of wind and that the satyr clearly can hear nothing. Oh, hey! So the noises from him clearly waft up as he sings a jaunty tune. I can reach out to him with my mind. Oh, yeah. Why don't you do that? Just don't crush it! I will endeavor to do not do that. I wouldn't try to read it right now, either. You don't know what he's up to. <laughs> <laughs> you might have more than one. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Seder. Hello? Uh, you hear the chains rattle as the the, sh- the Seder looks about. Hello? Hey, look, look up. Is yeah, anybody yeah, talking I'm, to I'm me? I'm waving to you. I'm speaking to you in your mind. Look up. I'm waving. Hi. Uh, um, I'm sorry, what? Tell him I'm waving to I, you. I'm using, I'm using my mind to speak to yours, but only because you can't hear us over the howling winds. He slowly looks up. Oh, well, look at that. You are up there, aren't you? Yes. Greetings. Uh, h- hello, is it? Have I been chosen for the stoop? No. I, I don't know. These are my com- the companions. Hello. We're here to save you. Oh well, that's lovely. Just pull a chap up then. We saw oh. we saw you in a, I saw you in a dream, and Crummy didn't believe me. Oh, was he naked in your dream? Don't answer that, man. Don't be weird. <laughs> Just turn the crank. <laughs> 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 well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think. Crummy didn't believe that you existed, and now he's being proven wrong right now, and that he should believe his dearest old chum, Grico. Grico, pull the chain and pull and start pulling him up. It's okay if it uh, was you. In... You attempt to, but there is some kind of mechanism that's preventing <laughs> oh, you from pulling, this. and you are. Hugging on it, and it's Trials. nothing's Sorry. happening. Yeah, you, my hands are slipping. Why are those chains so greasy? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> You're making no progress. Oh, fuck, man, I can't get any kind of like grip on it, man. My hands are just sliding around. It's disgusting. Stop like, it's that. It's grease fucking big. It's stop, slop. stop. Yeah, oh, I don't know. It's gonna feel nice. Uh, yeah, you see that um, there is something that's preventing this, and it looking at it, you see that there's a lot of moisture in the air. And there's been a lot of rust that has accumulated on the metal pieces and that it's going to take quite a bit of strength to um, to uh, manipulate the uh, the winch itself to pull the rust free. 
because it's essentially adhering the metal parts together. Mm. Frosty, can you do something about rust? I can endeavor to. Oh. Is that a yes? <laughs> yes, what yes. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, uh, otherwise, yeah, I mean, you need to handle the rust because otherwise it would require somebody who's really strong to pull all that up. Mm-hmm. And we don't have anybody like that. Hey, so. man. <laughs> I already tried once. It's all greased up. The chain. I can't do anything about it, all right? There is no There's grease big... on the chain. There's no grease on the chain. Wait a second. I don't know where I you can... got that from. <laughs> oh, it's it's a, it was an improv thing. Yes, yeah. I Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, How about you? I think you need some leverage. Just turn the crank. Oh. Is there, is there a crank on the crank? There is, but because it's rusted, it's not working. You would have to use strength and athletics check to try and. Um, I try. We don't have, we don't have anybody like that. Right. I, mean, I thought we were trying to outthink the rust. I, will, I didn't understand. I will attempt to help him by using my version of prestidigitation to remove the rust that he pulls. <clears throat> you get tetanus. <laughs> I thought you were going to do something about oxygen. My jaw! My fucking jaw! My fucking jaw! My fucking jaw! Yes. Yeah. You may not like that. Yeah, you know. Thank you for the tree. We're twisting again. Thank you for the tree. Twist one more time. I use this dice. Thank you for the tree. This was nice. Dormag was gonna cool. spit on the chains. <laughs> can you can you just fill fill chat in on what your rolls were? Uh, I don't remember the first one, but I think it was a two, and then a seven, and then a one. Oh no! Yeah, I think really. Okay. So what was the seven? Fourteen it would be fourteen. Oh, uh, well, you're lucky that it's only a twelve for the DC. So. You were advantaged though, right? So yeah, you, you would have been advantaged. Twenty. Oh, I gave him tetanus, oh. but you're still at advantage. <laughs> I, oh, let's, uh, just, let's just see how well you do this. Yeah, let's, let's. If he gets more ones, that would be so good. He's failing, and then I say, yeah. Another seven. Only a, bitch, only a bitch wouldn't be yeah. able to pull up, <laughs> pull up this shit. <laughs> 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 just say, give me my free form. <laughs> Flames come like burst out. He's got double oh, shooting like, to go even further beyond. <laughs> Yo, plus ultra, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And at first, you are unable. You are you are sweating. Your, your friends are looking at you. Grico is heckling you as sweat is dripping down your, your forehead. But you you are unable to move this, and you all eyes are on you. And you hear twig. You hear twig at your ankle. Don't be a little bitch, Gideon. <laughs> and you are enraged. And as you pull it forward, you yank the rust free. And very quickly, you hear the sounds of the chains as the uh, the force of the pull causes the um, the uh, knob to spin and spin and spin, or the handle to spin and spin and spin, and the chain immediately starts to rise. Um, it takes a couple of minutes before you see this naked dangling satyr directly in front of your face. Uh, the cage spins around in the air um, as he looks at all of you, uh, completely nude and completely free. Oh, uh, 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 hello. My name is Morning Frost. It's good to meet you. Well, that's one half of the ordeal dealt with. I'm assuming you have the key for the cage? Who did turn around? Uh, no, uh... Do we, do we have the key for the cage? You don't. Why are you naked? This was how I was put in here in my birthday suit. Did they take your clothes? Yes, they did, and everything else that I had on me. Frost can make you new clothes. Oh, yes. I, I, need, I need damaged clothes to mend. I the can't name just is make Vonsel, clothes out of by the way. It's nice to Vansel? meet you. Vonsel? Vonsel. 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 Vonsel, my name is uh, Grigor Grimgrin. This is me best mate, Frosty. This is me other best mate, Torbeck. This is me other best mate, Gideon, who is very strong boy. And then, and this is me other best mate, um, uh, Crummy. And this is me other best mate, uh, 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 Twig. Well, it is lovely to meet all of you. Yes, I was put in here in the nude. Because I was meant for food. Oh, and that rhymed. Oh, Satus, aren't we the best? Mm-hmm. Do you, I mean, you seem awfully chipper about it. You like being in that cage? No, not at all. Oh. But when you're in a situation like this with nowhere to go, I could be upset or I could be happy. Being upset is uncomfortable and I don't like it. It's not usually a choice So for if most. I'm happy, then yes, I'm stuck in a cage and I'm naked and my giblets are hanging out for the world to see, but... 
At least I'm enjoying it. They're bouncing back and forth in the wind like a speedball. <laughs> <laughs> How far out from he's the about, balcony? He's about two feet. Oh, um, so we could like reach in the cage you, and touch you could reason, it. Yes. <laughs> he would like Come in if you pays for it. Torn back definitely. Does the cage... <laughs> <laughs> is he like the senior, like the old, like the old school paintings where their dick is like half the size of their torso? I, like the if old, we're gonna talk the, about the it, he's very well endowed. Or the uh, um, Jesus uh, Christ. Does the cage feel magical, or does it just it feel like it, it's it just made of metal? Feels like a cage. Let's endeavor to open this cage. People were meant to be put in cages. People were. We're not meant to be put. Why would you think I would say people? It's howling wind. You have to speak up. (laughs) Damn it! It is quite loud out here. Before we let you out, yes. You ever communicate via like astral projection or something to to, to Grico here? No, not even once. I heard you had a dream about me. I did. I did. I didn't recall that you had your parts out. That you were very. Oh, my boys and berries. Uh, or Beazle berries, but oh, who's no. keeping track? I don't trifle with a Beazle berry, uh, I didn't see that. Uh, this is who she made daughter, but you shouldn't just don't leave her alone, please. Uh, don't leave her alone? No, d- leave her alone. Oh, just sure. don't talk to her. Don't, don't talk, talk to her, please. Uh, I don't see but Albert, we, so but uh, 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 Kremi didn't believe that you existed. And he well, fought. that's not very nice. Well, no, no, it's, I keep uh, trying to explain. It's not that I didn't believe you existed, it's just that. Because he had a dream about it, didn't mean that you did exist. Does that make sense? Yes, that's true. Just because. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you don't think something means something exists, doesn't mean that you believe it doesn't exist. What? Right. I don't think I follow. Kremi was gaslighting me and know, being a very me. poor friend. I said, "Oh, what to do? You're an idiot, Greg. Oh, how could you believe a dream with a cedar in a cage?" That sounds like some poetic nonsense, a gilded cage. What's this nonsense? Well, there's nothing gilded about this cage. It's cast iron. And oh. It's quite stiff. Maybe there was a little bit of poetic dream magic. Do anyway. We, do we want him out now, or should we wait till after we figure out what to do about Bevlorna? I think we try to get him out now. Okay. Yeah. Hey, grab my hand. All right. And he reaches out and grabs your hand. As soon as he touches my hand, I cast Dimension Door and I appear on the other side of Kremi uh, with him next to me, provided it looks like I could carry him. Yeah, I will say it's, that, it's that works uh, just fine. What does that look like? Oh, well, look at that. Jolly good, I'm out of my cage. Oh, wow, that what? works. Oh, Torbeck doesn't he, feel like he, he can do that again. Whoa. <laughs> He clasps your hands. Thank you so much, good sir. It's the least that Torbeck can do. You are quite a spectacular specimen. Oh, stop Your friends it. are lucky to have you. Oh, thank you. Speaking of this, this what? all feels quite lucky, don't you think? Well, hey, yeah. Uh, let's not breeze past the fact that he just teleported you out of the fucking cave. It's incredible. Could you always do that? You'd had a dream of me. You teleported me out of the cage. By pure happenstance, we've found ourselves in each other's presence. You know what, this... Hmm. What? Yes, this, this, this requires a reward. And he walks over fully naked, and <laughs> you see he, um, he runs his hand along the, uh, wooden, um, slats of the house. <laughs> Stop it! This is unrelated. He walks past Rick and Greg goes like, get that thing away Stop it! And he, um... Oh, she go he, back inside real he quick. runs his hand along the wooden slats of the house. No, this won't do. No, this won't do. Please stop! <laughs> it's nice in the book that he's naked! It's not me being a pervert! Well, maybe a little. Um, and he he looks around and no, this won't do. This won't do. Oh. And then he begins to he begins to look towards the um, towards the bottom portion. Do you want do you want what's gonna happen here? You want to keep being? I want to know. What's up? Okay. God. And he he begins to notice some uh, some some tor- some type of um, creeping plant that has been making its way up the side of the house and bits of the um, bits of the twigs are peeking out from beneath Ooh. the balcony and he he looks down well this will do and he snaps it off and he mm. holds it in his hand for a minute um, 
and he, he twirls it around in his fingers as he looks at all of you and smiles. Yes, today is quite a lucky day. And he, um, Ooh. He gives it a wry smile and he blows onto onto the um, onto the twig, and it begins to sprout flowers. Uh, one large blooming rose at the very top, and this is very clearly not a rose plant. He spins it around in his hand and he tosses it out to you. And Frost, you immediately see as the light shines on this a glint of magic, as it holds itself aloft in the air for just a second. Um, for any of you to grab. Wait, the twig is a rose now. Oh, the, the the rose, and it's just a rose. Yeah. It's floating there. Yeah. The tail is old as time. <laughs> uh, what? What does it do, Mister? Uh, uh, oh gosh, I've already forgot your name. If you don't want it, I'll take it back. It's, it's Vansel, and I, I think that it's uh, uh, Tor- Tormek. You, Tormek. You won the day. Oh, yeah, well, Tormek didn't want to insist, but okay. <laughs> I snatched it out of the <laughs> Yes, luck would be on all of our sides today. Oh. Ta-ta for now. And with a wry smile, he turns and jumps off of the balcony and disappears. Oh. <laughs> Do we see oh, like that? Did you, 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 listen, you listen and you hear <gasps> no sounds. And then you hear the flapping of wings Whoa. for but a second. And then silence. Uh, <coughs> Dormac is very confused! Fuck. What is it? What is that special rose thing? It's, you, are you lucky now? No! no, no, no. Hey! No, hey no, get no, out of your mouth! What, 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 is he, he gave you he gave you something precious. You may have to spend ten minutes with it to understand its power. It may be able to benefit you in some magical way. Don't eat it. You've been gifted a kiss from a rose. You should uh, you should hold on to it. Okay. That was all pretty weird, though, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I just want to know how you were able to teleport. Have you always? Oh, had- yeah. Tormek's felt like Tormek can do that ever since he ate that piece of glass that had that spit in it. <laughs> Tormek's got another one right here. And I pull oh. out another vial of oh. Fomorian spit. Oh. What, what, what kind of spit is that? You show that spit? Uh, well, <laughs> no, it just kind of tasted like spit. <laughs> What? You, um, <laughs> you feel this rose nope. in your hand. Nope, nope, nope. It thrums with magic. I love that word. Thank you, Terry. Mm-hmm. It thrums with magic. And as you look at it, you see that it is nearly pristine. And uh, it does not seem in any way like it is um, like it is wilting. Uh, it is eternal in its magical state. And having it on your person, you feel lucky. Um... I will say, just for the it's sake of, stone. since you just had a rest, a it stone. functions like a luck stone. <laughs> While having it on your person, you gain a plus one bonus to ability checks and saving throws. As soon as Torbeck touches it, it wilts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, negative one. <laughs> and when Torbeck's <laughs> roses <laughs> in bloom. <laughs> uh, Torbeck is bloom feeling a little lucky today. <laughs> well, we, uh, Wow. We did something good today. Gosh, we're saving all of these poor fae folk. You know, Hootsie, odd note. You can turn back around. Just the the uh, naked man's gone. Oh. Odd note that you voted to not kill her. But look at all of the nice people what she's done bad stuff to. <laughs> Murder? Murder, right? Clemmy, aren't you going with us now, too? <clears throat> I mean, here's the thing. We have no idea what she's capable of. I mean, she might be able to just blink and snap our necks instantly. We have no fucking clue. I'd love to see her try. And so I just don't want to, you know, bust the door down. <laughs> and I'm happy to, you know, do all the sneaky stuff behind the back. That's all fine. You know, she might have eyes on us, you know, every fucking step of the way. She might have full knowledge of what the fuck we're doing. She knows what he is. She has my hat. <clears throat> Presumably. So it's not like when we open the door, it's not like she's going to be surprised. I'm sure we'll get your hat back. I would very much like it back. I know we will. It is not left this place. 
at all. <laughs> it's not gone, Kremi. <laughs> Well, Don't never, think that I'm lying to you. I, I didn't think. Well, I, I didn't, but. Do not think that I'm lying to you, Kremi. Your hat is here. <laughs> I don't know. Why would you even doubt it? I don't think having bandages. She just sounds very sure. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Uh, uh, 21. You have to roll. Uh, uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck are you saying? Are you saying that my hat's not here? No, why would you say that? <laughs> because of how you acted. Why would you doubt what, me? What happened to my hat, I, Gringo? If, if your hat left the confines of this hut and perhaps uh, ever before my ability to track it left, then I would tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you fucking wanted what happened to my hat, Gricka. What do you know? Tell me every fucking thing you know about my hat. Oh my god. Oh, uh, it's okay, it? buddy. It's okay. Did all right, we're gonna find the hat. Burn it. We're gonna find the hat. All right, it's okay. Did it's you, gonna be up there. All right, dissolve it in a fucking gross acid slime. Can you remind you me, it? Dungeon Mistress, mm-hmm. what I what I noticed before it? <laughs> I thought it was just the spell. You expired. noticed no, that no, it I went don't. two floors up from where you were. So it wasn't on the floor that you were at now. Yeah. It went even higher. And that before the spell ended, you sensed that it um, it disappeared from this plane of existence. Oh, Gideon has no hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. I'm not lying, because when I lie, I have an easy tell. I start talking really loud. <laughs> and I'm not doing that right now. So I would never lie to you, Kremi. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Grico, I won't be mad. All right? <laughs> Just tell me what happened to my hat. Well, it may not be in your... It may. It's not on this plane of existence anymore. It's not on this fucking plane of existence. Uh, this, hey, it was all of the spirits, the primal spirits of nature monsters. It could be wrong. My spell could have failed. I'm not a divination wizard. It didn't fail, did it? I called upon I call upon a funky gorilla who plays the bongos <laughs> and makes bananas for me. That's a good point. <laughs> Oh, he's a pretty oh, groovy dude. He's a real groovy guy. You know, I call upon a gross frog guy, frog guy and have his spirit tongue lash out at people. I have a super smart two-headed vulture monster kind of say, oh, you will fly now and be wise. You know, I'm not a divination wizard, but according right. to the powers of the spirits of monstrosities, your hat is no longer in the hut, so to speak. So, I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Why didn't you fucking tell me? Because I didn't want you to be all stressed out. Well, now I'm all stressed out about it. Well, that's all I didn't tell you. Because now, you're gonna, be, now you're, you're gonna be, now you're gonna be, oh, wait. If I say that she took your hat away, would you now be fine killing her? I should have told you immediately. Oh, no, now I have to make a deal with her to get it back. She gives things oh. that were lost, doesn't she? Now my hat's lost. Now I gotta give away like half my soul to get my hat back. Oh no. You think I'm happy about that, Rico? No, 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 no. What we will do is we will solve this problem through unbelievable violence. <laughs> and then it's just gone forever. We just kill her and oh, goodbye hat. We'll Out. find the hat, man. We'll find the hat. We'll find right? your hat. She keeps uh... people chained up. She keeps people locked in cages. Yep. And she puts so, things, all very nice things in in, 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 in in boxes, right? Like and locks them in, in, in ice lockers, right? Some I mean, shit just ain't right, Krimi. <laughs> we'll either find it or we'll buy you a new hat. I, look, that's not an option. That was a nice hat. It was right? a fine hat. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's all right, okay? It's okay. 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 It's okay.
I'm, you know, I, I really appreciate the really cinnamon style. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean. Your head is incredibly large and shaped, kind of weird, but I think I could do it. It was, it was spoke. It was. I know. Watered. It was. You're it, spoken about it right now. No, it was. Look, all I'm saying is that <laughs> I'm just willing to give up a lot to get my hat back, and then we can kill her. All right. I just well, let me make a deal then, first. Is all I'm gonna here's say. Here's my question. Okay, I don't know all the things that you guys know. But if it's not on this plane of existence, doesn't that mean that she doesn't have it? Because if she eated it like you suggested, it'd still be in this plane of existence. It would just be inside of her belly. Well, I mean... And then she'd poop it out, so it would still be here. It'd just be yeah. in poop. And then Frosty could fix it. Mend uh, it, yeah. I would be able to mend it, yes. That would never really be the same. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, 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 you can't, can't get hag poop no. out. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no and it's frog hag poop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, like is bad. Well, maybe yeah. she knows where it went. Even yeah, if well, it's not here. Look, if we're lucky, maybe she just put it in the hey, bag of holding. Hey, that guy said we were lucky. He did. That's right. Oh, hey. 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 Yeah. You know what? She now we're talking. Has a nice bag of holding that she keeps stuff in, and I think that's technically a different plane of existence, right? I don't know what that means. Yeah, don't look at Dora, man. Don't to make look an at me. check to confirm that Premi would know that. But, I would uh, say, yeah, you don't even need to do that because Twig knows. Oh, Twig, you can confirm that? That yeah. technically a bag of holding, so yeah. maybe she just yeah, she knocked sure. the hat, threw it right in the bag, and, and that's yeah. it. And I just ask her for it, and I say, oh, I just got a. <laughs> Give up. I don't think you're going to be able to ask her for it. I think you're going to have to make a deal to yeah, get it back. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm happy to do that. No, no, it's blown out. She's all... I've been thinking about what kind of things I'm going to ask for and deal with. No, no, twink, no, 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 no one is making a deal with no her. No deal. We have to agree not to make any deals with that. No, 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 no. I've never had an opportunity to make a deal before. Well, we can make a deal right now. Okay, about what? I don't know. What do you want? Well, I don't know. You're putting me on the spot now. Yeah, Frost. I thought you said you had lots of ideas. Yeah, for Bab Lorna, not for you. Well, I'm 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 Frost Lorna now. Just use whatever idea you had for her on me, and we'll figure but it out. But you don't have the magic sheet. You don't know. Well, I don't. No, you, you think don't. You hey, do. Here's a deal. Here's a deal. All right, you don't make a deal with her. And I'll let you run up me five times and do backflips. I was gonna do that anyway. Well, five she times. She has you. She has you there. She's, yeah. gonna, she's gonna do it anyway. I Damn. was gonna do it anyway. Let's all break the tension but can I and run relax. Up Torbeck? Huh? Hi, Torbeck. Hey, Twig. Can I run up you and do backflips? Of course. See, I didn't even make it. No, you're supposed to go do it. Dang it! <laughs> oh, come on, man. Back Torbeck back. was looking at his flower. <laughs> <laughs> no, what it's I fine. was what I was gonna ask for though is, <clears throat> well, you know, you guys, you guys came to my rescue, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you saved my life when they was gonna hold me for ransom. I mean, sure, it was also my fault that they was gonna take my life because I was your friend, mm -hmm. but they were gonna. You, you came to my rescue anyway, you know? And that kind of set you back a little bit. So I thought maybe I'd see if I could barter for more time. Well, that's a good idea, Twig. I don't think you should be the one that has to barter for that. I think the rest of us can figure it out. Yeah, but you all need stuff, though. Torbeck needs answers about the other. Mm -hmm. You need help with your debt. Gideon's go. married to way too many people. Well, we're I don't agree with that. Grico has athlete's foot. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, did you pick that up? Hyper-realistic zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, I still refuse to wear shoes. <laughs> Speed yeah, of fast hacking today. And Frost, <laughs> Frost is really smart, but he can use some common sense. No offense. Oh, got him. Yeah. Boom, boom. Oh, wow. You say it. <laughs> no, it, it, it still feels Damn. roasty. How come it's cold out here? <laughs> Not where he is. See, this is what I mean. <laughs> I, I feel like tensions are a little high, 
So let's all break the tension and do a relaxing activity of murdering a couple of those little oh, fuckers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well, we're we're never on track. We never would feel a lot better yeah, if we, 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 we did a great, Torbeck, you did a great thing of saving Mr. Yeah, what do you think about Bonsel. that? That was kind of weird, Bonsel. huh? Bonsel. 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 Yeah. With a V, with a V, Bonsel. With a T? Bonsel. Bonsel. Who's with a V? Bansel. Bansel. Yeah. Bansel. Oh, God, that's Imagine Dragons. I'm imagining dragons right now, but oh, not no. for... All right, change it. I did. Oh, God. Oh, advertisers would like <laughs> your revenue. <laughs> 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 and just like that, it's all over. We will protect their copyright. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Too real. No, just not me. The order is beyond comprehension. Please move on. Now, now I say, I feel everyone, feel, would everyone feel a lot better if we can see those little fuckers get their heads smashed in? Hey? I need to let off a little yeah, steam, know, man. But- but did anyone notice the way that Saber guy smiled? Uh, <laughs> was, to be honest, I wasn't looking at his smile. I, was, <laughs> I, I, I had to look up past, I was like, I'll just look at the wall. I looked at the wall, honestly. I saw the Seder smiling. Yeah, there was just something about it that was weird, you know? Well, he turned into some kind of flying creature, so yeah, I'd say he was pretty weird. <laughs> Torbeck was very what concerned when he turned... launched himself over the edge after we saved what him. What do you mean he turned into a flying creature? Oh, you didn't hear that? I mean, he no. fell into the clouds and then we heard flapping away. Yeah. Yeah, how do you know that was him and not some? Maybe he just <laughs> like a landed on a bird or something. No, I think, well, I think still he pretty transformed. fucking weird. He jumped off the ledge. I mean, it all That was pretty weird. Things. And the fact that he was so happy being naked in a cage for so long. Well, that's yeah. not too bad. <laughs> Take it from Torbeck. <laughs> Maybe he had a flying friend that maybe, you know, flapped up. Well, but then we would have heard the wings coming. There was just something about it that seemed very, what's the word for, Greco? You're the master of words. Mm. Uncanny? Uh, no. That's not it. <laughs> Mysterious? Nah. Enigmatic. Unusual? Nah. Out of place? Well, well, no, that's strange. not Strange? No. Different? No. Unnatural? No, no, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um. Unlikely? No. Bizarre? Bizarro? Yeah, no, bizarre. no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, something that probably shouldn't have happened, but did anyway. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, Let's go murder some yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, nothing bad will come of this. And Torbeck will take the blue, blue rose and, like, tuck it into his lapel and fix it on the outside of his jacket so that there's this blue rose. That it's a red rose. Oh, it's a red rose. Sorry. Uh, that he's, I don't know why I thought you said it was blue. Maybe I accidentally did, but... Okay, maybe I'm just going absolutely insane. I fixed the rose to my lapel, and I... uh, Baba Yaga shows up. I'm wearing it. (laughs) And that's really nice. Thank you! Shall we proceed? Let's go. Yeah, where do we go? Pairs nicely with your scarf, Colbeck. Let's go. (laughs) 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 Oh... We, we continue. You make your way back into the kitchens. <laughs> um, Bloody Toes doesn't even look up at you as you mill about. And I'm assuming you're making your way to the hallway, which you believe leads to the dining room. We're trying yes. to. She's like the NPC where when we go back up in, into the room and we go up and press A, she, her back's turned and it's just dot, dot, dot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. That's, that's exactly. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> 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 You walk yeah, out. Um, you walk out of the room and you find yourselves in a long hallway. There are three doors that line <sighs> this hallway. There's one immediately in front of you, and as you walk towards it, you can hear noises. You can hear chattering and sounds. Mm-hmm. This door is far larger than all of the others, and the um, the frame around it is more ornate. And you press your ear up to it and you listen. Uh, and it is very clear that there are two feminine voices <gasps> having a conversation in this room. They're all this room. You step back from the door a little wrong. bit and continue to look down the hall. And you notice that uh, halfway down the hall between this door and a smaller one, there's a large ornate mirror. Nothing else lines the walls. It's just this one mirror that stands there alone. 
And then further down, you have a smaller door, which looks similar to this one, the ornate frame. It's just more, um, more demure are uh, minuscule in size compared to this one. And directly opposite it is almost a, is a door in the exact same style facing the other way. Does the mirror look like the one downstairs? It does. Are we still on the second floor? Yeah. Okay, so we're on the same floor as the kitchen, as the just kitchen. a different part of the house. Yeah, so you Got basically it. walked out of the kitchen this way. Yep. There's a hallway that goes down this way. There's the large door here that you're facing. There's a mirror. There's a smaller door, and then there's another smaller okay. door. Okay, got it. What? Brigo, what are you trying to say? I think we should not go down this door and go to the one over here. He believes that we should go in through this door that he just indicated. Why? Because I think they're, they're, they're talking in there that it's not... It's... Wait, who's talking? Uh, I, do, I, do, I, do I recognize any of the voices? Um, I would say roll a perception check to see oh. what you can what you can hear. A natural one. Oh boy! Uh, I will twist it. Better. I'm you, better. You're, you're wise. Uh, <laughs> from a certain point of view. <laughs> Sixteen, actually. Okay. Sixteen. Um, you press your ear up against the door and you begin to listen. Um, hey. And at first you just hear mumbling. And then you hear, well, yes, inside of that giant log of hers, she does all manner of things. Everyone talks about it. She is quite despicable, really. Nobody likes her at all. Okay. And then you you hear a bit of grum you hear a bit of grumbling, and then you hear. It is what I would like to hear. I'm okay. glad my sister is not faring so well inside of this. Okay. Hmm. Yes, now we must talk about the paintings. And that's okay. the last part that you hear before you hear the clattering of um, metal spoons on china, the pouring of tea, um, <sighs> other strange noises. <gasps> there it is. Wait, the Lorelei's? No, no, it's not the two Lonelings. No, it's the it's the Darkling and the and Babylon. You know what that means? Where the fuck did my hat go? It doesn't matter. Stay, stay where you are. Stay calm. We need to get the Lornlings. We can't just confront Babylon. His paintings. Her sister's not doing well. She's kind of she sucks. Stage whisper. Stage whisper. Scabber for kind of sucks. <laughs> She fucking sucks. Uh, <laughs> what are you trying to say? And there's portraits. Let's keep going. You don't have time for a boss fight right now. No, no, no. I agree. The I boss agree. fight is at the end of the dungeon, Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I follow. We need to ha- we need to basically lure the other the, per- the 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 general away from the boss so it's not too at once. Mm. <laughs> you know how it goes. <clears throat> we go to the other door. We follow through. Do you? Uh, you make your way. Trying to be stealthy. Uh, you make your way uh, through the hallway. You are walking um, as carefully as possible, so as not to make any noises on the swollen wood of the floor. Um, and as you pass the mirror, each of you turns and looks at it, and you see that as you pass, whatever expression you had on your face disappears, and all you see is a malevolent smile smiling back at you. You move to the side, and you change your expression for a moment, and uh, you give yourself a look of jubilance, and you step in front of the mirror, and you see that the jubilance quickly fades into that malevolent (laughs) smile yet again. You move out of the way, and you frown. And as you move back into the mirror, you watch as that frown turns back into that malevolent smile. (sighs) You can continue down the hall until you make your way to the two doors on either side. And we feel like we're far enough away from the dining room. I would say yes. You feel like you're far enough away that you can you can whisper to each other and talk comfortably. There's some portraits that they're talking about. They're important. Important. Uh, That's a bit of a stretch. Yeah, Uh, you're right. Uh, Anyway, they're they're plotting against, I think, Scabifer, because I hate Scabifer. 
Uh, Torbeck understands the importance of the arts, but not necessarily in this context. <laughs> I think it's some magic biz, you know what I mean? Uh, it's a little bit of... Uh, well, think- maybe if uh, she's using mirrors, maybe one of the other sisters uses portraits. <gasps> well, just like these dolls, too. Oh, sisters. We need to find... I feel like... I didn't recognize. I didn't recognize one of the voices, right? No, I didn't recognize who she was talking to. Oh. So maybe there's a darkling, which is what is the boss of the folks that we chatted with, that she might be friends with, who works for works for Scarif, and is actually secretly giving advice or secrets to Bavlona. So it's a bit of double crossery. See what I mean? So like a double double agent. A double yeah. double agent. Oh, you know exactly thing. My guess is that she tells Bavlona what Scabrifer wants her to tell. So it is a double double agent. So she so Bavlona has the wool proverbially being pulled over her eyes. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like that, but that just feels like something that would be very sneaky. So it sounds like before we kill Bavlona, we gotta talk to or maybe kill that dark man. Uh-huh. Is that right? That is TBD. I feel like we. I feel like she could be useful. You know what I mean? Okay, well, well, we gotta find these loneliness, right? If they're in the dining room, but they're <laughs> sitting in the dining room. <clears throat> Isn't that where she said the loneliness ain't hung Well, out? we gotta find other little fuckers to kill. There's a million of them. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a million of yeah, fuckers. Two of the doors. Just pick one. Uh, this one. Uh, do you pick the door against the wall with the mirror or the door opposite? Opposite. Away from the mirror as possible. You, um, you reach out and you open the door. And mm. it is, um, it opens easily. Oh. And you find yourself in what appears to be a dining room. Mm. This room Dang. has two exits. Mm. Above each door, mounted on a wooden plaque, is a severed goblin head with its mouth agape. Oh. Other furnishings include a sideboard, two cupboards with doors made of wood framed glass, and a large banquet table covered with plates of half eaten food and a swarm of feasting flies. A chandelier hangs above the table, its tallow candles filling the room with dim, flickering light. Six mismatched chairs flank the table, three chairs per side. The room itself seems quiet as you step inside. The carpeting on this floor completely muffles any noise that you would make walking throughout this place. You shut the door behind you and you look up and you see, only because you know that they're there, peeking out from the darkness above each one of the doors, inside of the mouths, the open mouths of these goblin heads, the eyes of two lornlings as they look out at you. Ready the lid, Gideon. It's all chained up, man. I mean, it's all chained up, man. <laughs> you say that a lot. <laughs> good, good, good. What a lovely dining room this is. Oh, I, like, not, oh. I would like to dine here. Hey, hey, don't shout, man. Oh. <laughs> but charming decorations, the severed heads of my kinsmen. As soon as I get close enough. <laughs> Uh, I, I, the range is like 90 feet, but as soon as I feel like I can grab can them both. you do both. both of them? So there are doors on either side of the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one you came in and one that looks like um, it actually goes to the kitchens that you came from, but you saw no door <clears throat> uh, where this would have led to. Mm-hmm. Um, and above each one of those doors on opposite ends of the room is a goblin, a mounted goblin Are they goblin both head. within 90 feet? I would say yes. The room isn't that big. Okay, so. then I would... As long as you can do them both. I would like to do them both. <laughs> Explain to me what you're doing. I am going to cast Vortex Warp, but I'm going to twin it. <gasps> oh! That's nasty. Which is expensive. I and hopefully that. worth it. <laughs> Oh boy. Sorcerers, everybody. <laughs> yeah, okay, my so, so what does this look like? What are you doing? Um Describe to me what the scene looks like. 
I will... Yeah, I'll have pulled my hood up. And... Thank you. I, uh, I, I will uh, have my hands in, in, my, in my robes, and then I'll sort of uh, get to the center of the dining room where I feel I'm uh, at, a, at a good equidistance from both of them. You're standing next to the table. The smell of the rotting food uh, reaches your nostrils at this point, and your stomach turns. You look down, and you see the flies feasting <clears> on <throat> rotting, a rotting haunch of meat. Some spoiled moldy soup. I will fake a yawn and let my arms come out like this. And then as soon as both of them are in, in uh, uh, at the end of my hands, where I feel like I can get one, one and the other, almost like pulling a psionic chain, I will pull them and endeavor to whip them into the, into the pot. In an instant, you watch as these things are yanked out of the heads of uh, these mounted goblin, or out of the mouths of these mounted goblin heads. And you see as they're brought together, they clank against each other, like uh, very uh, three stooges as their heads <laughs> smack into each other. <laughs> and they let out a yelp as they're tossed into the pot. Oh, uh, Gideon, they may uh, make a constitution saving throw to them to oh, avoid this, DC 15. Perfect. 15? Yeah, yeah, otherwise they will not be popped into the pot. Oh, or, I rolled a 2 and an 11. Oh! oh <laughs> so oh, this God. happens um, as they, um, they're they tossed into the pot. Uh, Gideon, you go to grab the, the lid and uh, put the lid on top. You feel their hands push up against it, and then you hear, No! 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 We'll tell you whatever you want! We'll tell you how to access the mirror! And that's where we'll end the session. Oh! Snap! Oh. I didn't see that coming. Holy Well done, Frost. Shit. I'm just glad I did a thing. Well done, man. <laughs> <laughs> I need to remember that as Chuckles. Yeah. The twin spell on yeah, the yeah. fucking... Yeah. It's legal. Uh, I use twin spell and quicken spell. Yeah. So twin is on. nasty. I have, I have, I have four um, different sorcery things that I can do. I took... Yeah, the, because I took as a feat... Uh, at, when we got to level four, oh. I took uh, like extra meta magic, meta magic adept. Yeah, oh. and so I have two additional Damn, sorcery cool. point things. That that's is cool. very flexible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that? <laughs> Hence why I will do the move. Um, so that was a very expensive, but totally worth it. We're not done. It's true. What's next, Andy? Well, uh, next is Avantress and Chill. Uh, which is where we talk about our favorite moments, we theorize, and we uh, address all of your uh, questions and comments. So we're not uh, going anywhere. We're just doing an extra special segment that we always do. Uh, if you're not sticking around, we're going to be back here on Friday to play Icebound, the next chapter of Icebound. Um, make sure you check out the merch shop and the Patreon. And also make sure that if you'd like to get your very own cutesy, a uh, hootsy who is a cutesy, uh, get a plush oh, of sure. her then make sure you use exclamation point Hootsie, uh, and you can pledge $2 to Look reserve your uh, Hootsie plush now. And so cute. if you want the naughty list, join our mailing list. Oh, yeah. Exclamation mark naughty, right? Yep. That's right. Sign up for the mailing list. Get the uh, table that we used in our infamous uh, one shot, Twas the Night Before Witchlight, and uh, you can use that in your home games. You, you give email? We give naughty lists. That's right. Fair trade. That's and exactly and right. we will continue to uh, related Project Earthshine. We'll start to tease more yeah. and more. Uh, and more yeah. what we got info is. coming this it's week. It's going to be super yeah. teasular. Yeah, the teasular begins this week. Info so you soon. do not want to miss out if you are the speculating, uh, pl plotting kind of type. And if you're watching this in the future and you want access to this evangelism show, uh, you can join our Patreon. That's, That's right. right. All of our past, got hundreds of episodes of the Mansions and Show. Holy available shit, to yeah. our patrons, along with a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, do we have any stuff this week? Like Ice Patreon? Bound. Ice Bound? Uh, no, not, uh, not for... for stage, no, voice no. Okay. next week. Next Thursday is the first one. The dates are on the Patreon. I, yeah. There's a Patreon announcement that has all of the dates for all of the stuff that's happening this month. Uh, perfect. Okay. And before we end, yeah. I have hidden a pen in my hair. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> amazing is not necessarily a word I would use, but that's a word. If I had any volume and my hair wasn't so thin, I would try that. <laughs> All right, we can continue. Uh, I'm so jealous of you. So, with that, we're going to. <clears throat>